Oh. What's up, every? Oh, there's a pupper. Oh. Puppy. There's a puppy. Whose puppy is that? Well, yeah, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that dog. I don't know that dog either. That's, uh, and I've seen your dog. Who's yeah. puppy? Who? Where are you at? I've seen that. We just I've got some that dog I'm, before. I'm at um. So I'm at my house. This is uh, Meredith's dog, Raz. Oh, so okay. short, dog. short for Raspberry. I call him Raz Mataz, and when he's in trouble, I call him Mister Mataz. Okay. <laughs> so he, okay. he's y'all's okay. dog. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. He's okay. my homeboy. Yeah. Well, welcome to the Will Reeds. Uh, he just threw me off completely because there's a puppers. Because uh, mm, whenever there's, it's a good boy, a good girl. He's a good boy. He good says boy. he's a good boy. Even when he's a okay. bad boy, he's a good boy. Yeah. He's a good boy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So puppers always uh, take presents to any introduction. So, but anyway, um, so need to, uh, I guess, do some little housekeeping before we actually get going. Um, I'm back. Yay. Or maybe, or maybe boo. <laughs> Yay. And there was Yay. much rejoicing. Much rejoicing. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, yeah, we got a new patron though. Um, uh, not yeah. week. so we got, we got scooter McGavin, not shooter it's scooter McGavin. So I guess I really love scooters. it. I, I like it too. So thank you for your patronage and, uh, welcome to the team. So happy to have them. Um, Alan, he eats pieces of shit like you for breakfast. I'm sure he does. He eats pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are gonna make me cough. I, I've been getting over a, a, a sore throat, so <laughs> if I start hacking up a long midstream, I apologize now. Um, if I laugh too much, it's gonna happen. Um, so, um, right. a other, other, couple other announcements uh, to deal with the giveaways. They're all done for this month. But one thing I'm going to add to giveaways and start doing is we are going to start doing giveaways on the live stream. Um, so Tuesday nights mm -hmm. at 8:30. We, uh, if you li still listen to the podcast and you want to come check us out on the YouTube. Uh, we do live stream every Tuesday night at 8.30 Eastern uh, Daylight or Standard Time, depending on what time of year it is. Uh, it's p.m., um, 8.30 p.m. And, uh, yeah, we'll do some giveaways. Um, maybe not next month. Eventually. I don't know. I have to check, I have to check the, the spreadsheet. Eventually. <laughs> eventually. At some, word, eventually. At some point, there will be be, be giveaways on, on live to, to live listeners. It's just uh, a little I can, teaser. Because yeah. I can go and like ask people to type something in chat or something first person to do it something like that anyway um do a little little trivia or something like that do i owe you I money i feel like we've done a giveaway or two that i said i would pay for and you haven't billed me yet do i owe you money no you always do like really obscure giveaways that i can't track out on the people for like oh send me send me <laughs> pictures of your graduation pictures and i send them all to you you don't pick a winner and you forget about it and our our who wrote a review Wait, i thought and... that one went to somebody with a dog yeah. Didn't somebody sent a dog oh, picture it? and we were like, clearly. Okay. Yeah, the dog picture was supposed to get it. Yeah. Okay, I'll go back and find out who the dog picture like You won. That was a shot glass, That was immediately right? unanimous. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was a shot glass. Cool. You won. Uh, dog picture person. I don't know who it was. Uh, I have to go back and look through my email slash DMs and yeah. I'll find we will, you. And then we will the find Apple, you. Not the Apple that. thing, yeah, that was a bust. Yeah, that was a bust because reviews you can't see. They're, they're anonymous. There's no. And I didn't know yeah. that. So. Neither did I. But so, we learned something new. We, we learned something new. It was a valuable yeah. lesson. Um, but you can write reviews on the website, and I think I can track those reviews. But I'm not sure, so don't do a giveaway yet on that. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, I'll, I'll double-check to see if I can track who does those reviews. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, but, yeah, um, I'll, I'll, I'll bill you when I figure out, and I'll order a shot glass. Sounds good. Yes. Um, <laughs> And, and, and like I said, more giveaways are coming. Um, so changing some things up there. Um, as far as guests coming up, uh, we don't have any new guests for a while, but tonight we do got a returning guest for, uh, I guess, the second time this month. Jake, Jake, um, Jake, Jake. Jake. Jake filled in for Ian a few weeks ago. I think was it was Ian or Chris. Yeah, it was Ian. Is it? Right? Thank you, Jake. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh, don't thank you. It was, it was horrible. <laughs> and then Jen from Goldie Fox filled in for, for Chris. So uh, yeah. And then Jake was supposed to be on last week again. Ooh. As a second coast was Zul, but bailed out last minute. No, no. <laughs> just, yeah. yeah. Oh, how's your tooth, yeah. by the way? I know you're probably going to yeah, talk about it, but now, now I'm curious. How's your tooth? Uh, it's all good. All right, good. It worked out. All good now. All right. Yeah. Awesome. I know that's so, miserable, so yeah. glad you it sucks, so, but we're good. So, yeah, we, we don't have any guests for a while, but um, we do have some lined up um, coming up in August, I believe. We might have one later this month. I don't know. I still have At some to figure point, out. We got to get Chanel on. She's on book like eight now, almost to the end of book eight. Oh yeah. You, you gotta, let me know. 
pick some pick some dates and uh and let me know and uh if there's ask her if there's a chapter without asking for spoilers that she wants to do and she can have it gotcha i'll do but, that awesome oh no 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 with some caveats there's some t- there's some chapters you can't but <laughs> if she okay. if she clears them through me first i'll say yes or no just give me numbers yeah, she might have like, to chat with Alan this book this number i'm like no nah, i can't have that one uh because <laughs> everyone wants some of these chapters and it's like no no that's not how it's um but for most part text right now and say pick a couple of favorite chapters yeah a couple of favorite chapters uh, yeah give me, give me give me a good list and yeah we'll go from there um I know uh, I, I, I talked to uh, Nerdy Nightly, who does YouTube. Um, uh, I DM'd with them a couple weeks ago, and they're going to come on. Uh, they're almost caught up to us, so Ooh. they're reading a lot Ooh. faster. So they just finished Fires of Heaven. I think in two weeks they'll be caught up to us, maybe three weeks. So maybe after that, come on. I don't know if they're going to be good chapters or not. So I'm trying to like mix the two. So they might be past us a ways before I get them on. Who knows? But they're coming up. Um, so um, that either this month or next month. But that's it for guests. So, and pretty much it for announcements. Um, so, no once again, Jay, thank you. Uh, yeah. yeah, I already said that. Shoot, shoot, uh, Scooter McGavin. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, we had one. Woo! Yay! Woo! <laughs> two shout outs. Yeah. Patty. And I know, I know, in case you missed it last time, I know Zul did announce we had two patrons last week. Zul announced at the very end of the show. Yes. So, um, shout, yeah. So, if you didn't hear your name, go listen to the whole episode. That's great. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Because <laughs> I'm that dark friend that makes you do that. Um, plus, it gives me more, 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 more views or listens, downloads. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, um, so personal life. Um, yeah, last week I was out because I was at the beach, right near the beach, man. Um, went with the whole family, uh, both my brothers. Uh, first time seeing my brother in like almost two years. Uh, uh, Doctor Wit, uh, who's been on the podcast before, lives down in Florida. And pretty much after COVID, he um, has been in COVID wards because he's a doctor and not, even though he's a surgeon, has been pretty much nonstop, not able to travel, not able to come home uh, that much. So uh, it's been catching up. Um, I got to meet my, my, my nephew for the first time, his son, um, who's just I awesome. think, four months older than my son. So like they're little little baby time together. Uh, my, my oldest loved the ocean. Um, she wanted to get on his boogie board and stand on it in the surf and act like he was surfing. Yeah, you because know, that's what you're doing here for. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he, he had a fun time. He did it all day long um, and just, yeah, went stopped. So it was awesome. Um, so that's it, really. I'm still recovering from all that, uh, whether it's try, you know, slacking off the podcast, slacking off on work because I wasn't at work and now coming back to work and podcast and trying to catch up. Um, and that's my entire life right now is 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 stress. <laughs> <laughs> that's Welcome that's vacation <laughs> yeah that's vacation for, yay vacation now i'm stressed more than ever okay <laughs> so that's it for me what about you guys what's going on in the personal worlds um let's see well i'm at the house tonight because i came back i had a, a va appointment i'm finally going through the process of uh hooking up with the va with all the shit that's broke on me which I hate to admit it, but I'm getting old and those injuries I could ignore for a little while. I can't anymore. So started that process. First, first doctor's appointment was like two and a half hours long. Apparently I had a long list. (laughs) So did that, was able to stop in for the swim meet. My kids weren't in it, uh, but Meredith's kids were. So got to cheer them on a little bit. Uh, The only downside is I have to be at formation tomorrow morning. So after this, I will be driving back to Fort Bragg. I'm super excited about that. Uh, yeah. you are um, better man than I, me sir I find out so this is if you've been tracking that at all I've been all over the place with like when I'm coming home and they were supposed to put me in this at home recovery thing uh, but I had uh, one I won't even call it an appointment because it wasn't an appointment it was a last second hey you need to go talk to this person and I was just like mm, no I'm not going to fucking do that and they got their panties in a wad so we've had, I, I had a conversation with him about how disappointed I've been with this process because I've been there since March and I still don't really have a treatment plan. And this is for an injury that really I, sh- I should have done that home recovery for from the get go. There's just no need for me to be there. But I, maybe I was a little too <laughs> forthcoming with my thoughts and feelings about <laughs> my situation there. So uh, tomorrow I'm going to have hopefully a more positive conversation with the um, the commander there. Uh, but either way, I've I've put in a giant chunk of leave, 
And hopefully by the time that leave is up, they finish my paperwork for me to just be done there because I am done there. I have checked out. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. And if there's, you know, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to talk shit about them. I'm, it's my particular experience that has been really jacked up. Uh, I don't know enough about the rest of the program, but um, yeah, it's I'm done with it. Ready to come. My on. uncle went into the VA for a surgery and died. Yeah. I, yeah. Sadly, uh, gosh, I won't even. And I know I'm, I'm sorry. I had a sorry couple family that. members with yeah. that experience. So, and then yeah, and having worked with almost 2,000 veterans at the community college back at home, you see a lot and hear a lot. And it's just upsetting. Yeah. I, I mentioned to you all, like, I finally went to the pain management um, provider. And he was the first one to sit down and actually look at my MRI and explain everything that's going on and why all the symptoms I've been describing line up to what he's seeing there. And like gave a very definitive, like this is what he, he was the first one that was like, so I'm looking at this. You had this MRI a month ago. I have no idea where you're still here. Like, this is what you need to do. Bing, bang, boom. You can do all that shit from home. So that's when I went back and was like, Hey, can we put in this packet for me to do at home recovery? And at first they were all about it, but like, I don't know. I just, I got the feeling that some of them got butt hurt that I was excited to go home because they really started cracking down on stuff. And if you haven't got this about my personality, uh, I love the army. I love soldiering, love, love serving. There's a reason I never went to brag or hood because I'm not a drone. Um, and mm. it, when there is a mission to be done, uh, it, it really doesn't matter what it is. I'm the guy you want there. Uh, I'm not just going to get it done, but I'm going to inspire those around me to do a fantastic job. Also, I'm also the guy that if I have soldiers with me on a weekend, even for a reserve weekend and, uh, somebody higher up tells me, Hey, we don't really have anything on the training schedule. Just keep them busy. I'll go up to him and be like, Hey, uh, what would you be doing right now if you're not here? And if it's something like I'd be with my kids, I'd be with family. I'd be done. I'd say, okay, go do it. Like I'm not, I don't do bullshit. So anyways, apparently that doesn't jive with the 82nd in Fort Bragg. So mm -hmm. whenever, if that makes me a piece of shit soldier, then Hey, <laughs> I've got promotions and awards that say otherwise. I don't need your stamp of approval. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, um, but I still love them. Yeah. <laughs> I just I just wasted months of my life. I'm coming to terms with that. I thought this would be a good investment in time. I'm sorry I keep rambling. I, I, uh, I thought about this I, is a today event, but I'm I'm very disappointed. I, I thought about you the other day when I saw a military TikTok and it was a guy in the barracks making fun of his drill sergeant with like a fake drill sergeant hat on and he's wearing his uh, his uniform and someone stitched it and zoomed in on his private <laughs> rank in his name and then tagged the drill sergeant in the video. I was like, good luck, yes. bud. <laughs> tell you what. So if, in one of the conversations that might have come out of my mouth as they were talking, I might have said something to the effect of I'm not a fucking private and this isn't basic training. You were in the wrong environment. I'm here to heal. And everything you're telling me right now has absolutely nothing to do with that. And huh. yeah, I guess that upset them. <laughs> and it, it went downhill from there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's okay. might be time, it might be time for me to get out. I don't know. This is why, this <laughs> why young people fight wars because the old people stop and think about it and go, nah, it's bullshit. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Yeah, for sure. All right, I'm officially done. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. That's right. why they grab um, you're 18. Oh, hopefully I don't regret any of this. I mean, I'm I'm venting a little bit. I hope y'all know that right now. I'm venting a little bit because this is kind of fresh um happening today. So uh and obviously that involves a lot of big life changes for me and figuring out what I'm gonna do next with work and everything. And I'm I I'm still not quite ready to be able to do an eight hour day. So what does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Stay, stay tuned. Stay. Let's let's monetize this podcast, and I need to stay home. <laughs> Alan's like, how much do you want to take on? <laughs> <laughs> all right, now I'm officially uh, done. I promise. See, I, I've actually gone the opposite way, where I don't really care about the money at all. I'm like, uh, right. yeah, no, no, no. I'm like, I, I was talking to, I guess it was Jake. Was we talking the other day? Like, I was like. If, if only we only have two listeners, I'm happy. That's two more than I thought would ever listen to us. So yeah. <laughs> like someone's like, oh, we had like three people leave, leave the discord in the last week. And I was like, I don't care. <laughs> like, like, I mean, I care. I, I love you all. I want you all to interact, but I don't interact enough on there anymore. And really a lot of it has to do with just me getting busy. 
um, as much as we used to. And we're not COVID anymore. When we started this yeah. podcast, if you remember, COVID locked us all down and we had nothing else to do but drink and sit on this uh, uh, and do this We were stuff. constantly in voice. <laughs> 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 that's all we had to do so like we built a big following i know doing that but now like <laughs> life's kind of normal and like i'm like i'm not gonna sit in discord all night long i'm sorry Alan, guys. <laughs> remember the nights it was jake you definitely you were there the nights where it was like all right pushing 2 a.m maybe we should call it a night and then the like people overseas would log on we'd be like new people and then you just keep going <laughs> yeah so, yeah yep. that like was more europeans so yeah. Yes, yeah. Europe just woke up. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun, uh, but yeah, that was that was uh, during the COVID the COVID lockdowns, and uh, we had nothing else to do. There you go. Chanel's on the podcast. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> Count it. <laughs> uh, for those listening next week, they don't watch us live or don't go to YouTube. Uh, Chanel just walked in the camera frame, so that counts. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> she can get an episode, but um. But yeah, um, I, I, I need to do more with that. It's just that my, my kids at their age right now, I have a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a five-month-old. Five and um, and honestly, sleep is something that I, I, it's very precious to me where in the beginning of that, I didn't sleep at all, um, COVID, because mm -hmm. work wasn't really that stressful because we weren't even open. Um, so it's kind of like, uh, just do whatever. I was kind of coasting. Sure. Yeah, was working, air quotes. Um, but now it's definitely go, go, go all the time. I need my sleep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel you. I'm, I'm enjoying doing this. So yeah. we're, we're good. So, I was joking. So Chris. Um, personal life. Let's see. Since you last, last talked to me, um, had a great weekend. My soon to be sister-in-law had a birthday. So we celebrated her. Yay. Um, yeah. I got a new, well, a new used bike. So I found a, bike my size and got on that and rode it and almost flipped off the handlebars because they're not very tight and i hit a good break and i don't need no bike with no handlebars <laughs> no handlebars no handlebars exactly <laughs> did anybody get a video of it uh, no no i didn't actually flip i was i was in the air but i'm used like i i purposely will put my back wheel into the air by braking hard so i guess it was good practice for what happened on Saturday because I caught myself and eased myself back down, if you can imagine. But it was it was not fun. <laughs> the yeah. the the feeling of falling without purposely doing it is not a cool thing. Um I'm having visions that, of an O gear like on a little BMX bike, <laughs> you know, just <laughs> popping out tricks and stuff. That's how right. I feel. I did my first major presentation for the university that went really well. Um, they're turning more over to me, which is awesome. And, you know, work's gotten super busy. We do not have enough beds for all the people that are coming to campus. Apparently that's happening all over the area, all up and down the East coast. We don't, colleges don't have a, enough bids for students because they're all trying to get the F out of their parents' house after COVID has been so much of a biatch for lack of better mm -hmm. words so that is where we stand <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh personally personally we are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel we're less than 100 days away from the the wedding so i have okay. you know, put, put the website back out there for people on my facebook and everything so they can kind of keep up okay. and watch what's going on and you know i we're just the countdown's going. We're wrapping up some of the small stuff. We'll be sending out the formal invitations soon. I'm gonna be sending a text message prior to that because my RSVPs are gonna be digital. So I'm gonna get my people a, a greater head start because <laughs> <There you laughs> we're kind of down to the wire, in my opinion. Um, what else? Oh, bachelor party's coming this weekend. Yeah. So like, my guys sent me up and they're like, "Hey, hold this weekend." I'm like, "All right, sure." And now they're like. And here's your itinerary. Be ready. I'm like, oh, awesome. Oh. It's not exactly. I was expected it a little bit later, but here we are. Now here we are. And our yeah, cat's I'm going born. To... Okay. <laughs> your what? Your cat's born? Our cat has been born. We're getting a cat from a breeder. Oh, cool. And we've been waiting That's almost fun. a year now for this cat. Our That's a long gestation period. Well. <laughs> <laughs> We've been waiting for how long is it take for this? Cat? <laughs> been waiting for three specific cats to get old enough to breed, and they came of age in April ish. Three, so yeah, okay. so we're looking at 
getting a kitten from one of the three cats. They had so just do you really know who the daddy is? Oh yeah, we 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 have like blood tested and everything for the daddy. Okay, so awesome. Yes, Th- these are these are show cats award oh, yeah. winning. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. Um, it's still gonna be an asshole. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, we're getting um, a dog soon. There you go. Um, yeah. yeah. Fun, yeah. In the in the wedding news, we have th- I have three weddings I'm going to this fall. Of course, Chris oh, is one of them. And then just <laughs> last week, one of my friends called me. I was like, "So I know I invited you to the bachelor party, but uh, do you want to be a groomsman too?" And I'm like, uh, "Sure, what the hell?" So um, <laughs> that's gonna be fun. I haven't done that in a while, but it's uh, so the bachelor party is in September. So I'm going to a bachelor party too soon. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, it's gonna be fun. Uh, but looking forward to it. Um. Jake, what's going on with you? How's your tooth? Yeah, tooth is fine now. Okay, it's, good. Yeah. That's old news. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, no, uh, not, not much going on. He did on. a little fix it in and forget. And he doesn't yeah. even remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah pretty good uneventful good. week for me, actually. A uh, little concert over the weekend, some some 90s bands. That was an awesome place. concert. You sent some <laughs> video to me. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Was, uh, uh, you uh, saw it was Train. I mean, uh, train that was not was the. Oh, that's phenomenal. Yeah. And then Jewel, uh, Jewel and Jewel Blues Traveler. And, and Blues Traveler. A little concert. That's a yeah, little concert. concert. Blues Traveler was awesome. Jewel was kind of a wreck, to be honest. And um, I knew a lot more train songs than I thought I did. I could have swore they peaked at Drops of Jupiter. I was way wrong. Yeah, they just kept hitting the radio, man. Yeah. yeah Listen to podcasts these days and books. Not much radio. Yeah. Yeah. I but, yeah. uh, but loose travel always comes. Books, always oh, yeah, no, they, they were awesome. Uh, yeah. Still got it. Just up there wailing on that harmonica. Love yeah, it. yeah. John Popper. I, I think we've been to a, we went to a blues travel concert together. Ian and I did. Um, I think it was like the weekend before we went to college. And you got yeah. a ticket coming back on the bridge. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I remember that night. That we're, we were supposed to go to the kegger, but we were too worried that we would get in trouble and be grounded and not be able to go to college because uh, we actually were sitting next to the managers of one of the opening acts because uh, we had nice seats. And um, the manager was like, yeah, there's an after party with the bands. Do you want to come to the kegger? And like we were like freshman yes. college students. So we're like, yeah. yes. And then I was like, uh, I don't know if it's a guy. I've, I've screwed up so much already in my high school career. I don't know if I right. need in on this note. <laughs> I got my probation letter with my welcome letter. So. Yeah. So <laughs> we heard about you. Home. <laughs> yeah. I also Where saw John Popper. Remember the story I told of uh, Delilah? Got a kiss from her when I was in oh, Iraq. Yes, and I then love, she got yes. all the uh-huh. cheerleaders to give me a kiss. So John Popper uh-huh. was there also. Oh, cool. Yeah. So got to chat with him some. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Cool oh, fun you guys ready? Yeah. Cool you guys ready to go into these uh, chapters? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, I have 20 minutes Sorry. left in Sanderson's second, and then I get to the third. And oh, you have you, it's 20 been, minutes oh, left. Yeah. When oh, I say it's Chris, been a freaking emotional bad. roller coaster in the last few <laughs> chapters, this book, <laughs> Ian. It's called a Sanderland. <laughs> yeah, they're great. Yeah. yeah. But, I, 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 might, I might dabble. Sanderson is a, is a fantastic writer. Uh, he like just, is. Yeah. And yeah. he's like Jordan in that exact same way where like at the last six chapters, it's like, boom. But he kills off more characters than Jordan does. That's true. Um, yes. Yes, he does. He, yeah. he likes to kill <laughs> all, the time. <laughs> all the time. All the time. He has that George, George Martin aspect a little bit. Of he it, does. Uh, where... See, there's, he's a good mix of the two. He's been of the two. Yeah. <laughs> And then Ted walks in the room. Hi, Ted. Ted's dead. Moving on. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, no, like his deaths are slow. It's like, and he watches the sword come down. And as it slashes, he sees darkness. And he begins to wonder. Like, he, like, gives all the description of the death. As his vision wow. begins to fade. Yeah, as his vision begins <laughs> yeah. to fade and the darkness overwhelms him. He thinks, oh, <laughs> is that such and such waiting for for me (laughs) it's lovely lovely um yeah i'm reading um uh if we're talking about what we're reading i'm reading i just started reading american gods uh, a few days ago so um i'm about halfway through great um yeah i have it It, it's interesting um it's 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 intriguing i'm fascinated but yeah so um are you guys ready for these 
Yeah, sure. sure. Okay. We're right on time. Shut- five o'clock. Are you, Jake, you wanted to say something before we get oh, started? Yeah. Thanks for having me on for, uh, for Godwin's Wet Dream. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man. Giggity. <laughs> good. It was so good. Who's doing all of our uh, stuff with you being on? There it is. <laughs> that's exactly how I pictured him in that whole scene. Yeah. Put a little sword um, in his hand and that's it. <laughs> There we go. All right. So chapter 13, Under the Dust. And our chapter symbol is a box with snake. With a giggity. Snake. Put that giggity back up. <laughs> just keep, I'm just kidding. Keep, snake you're, not gonna, that shit. you're not going to see us this entire episode. It's actually going to be a podcast of this, of this uh, gif of, um, of <laughs> Quagmire just doing giggity the entire episode. Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So we start in Nynaeve's point of view. Um of all not right not, or, yeah. yeah yeah it's it um, says her jaw hurt giggity uh, uh, um, really? and, and and we're working to remove um <laughs> uh 90s block the- theodron's there still trying she's dumping uh buckets of water over 90 trying is everything naked. he's being <laughs> yeah. waterboarded yep <laughs> that's really the scene being beaten and waterboard. Yeah, it's pretty much torture. I mean, it's pretty much just yeah. happening. It's just, it's just torture. Yeah. yeah. Hey, so I got a question. Uh, as I'm reading this, uh, obviously my mind's wandering as I'm reading, and it's wandering about Nynaeve's block. Uh, did the TV show spoil us a little, and does the block have something to do with her mentor trying to be an Aes Sedai and getting shut down? So, like, deep down she has this constant hatred for Aes Sedai until she learns to let go of that, she's going to be stuck. Not helpful, Chris. God, we need tree on the show. <laughs> where's, where's tree when you're I here? know. She only gives us a face mm. or a little, just a little yeah. something. No, I, I, uh, I got really good with my eyes to eye answers. Um, I got one of my uh-huh. uh, old coworkers to read the books over uh, last year, so she okay. just picked up um, a few so months. You got ago, experience. So I got experience answering first time reader questions. Oh, but I mean, man. she gets she uh-huh. gets over her blocks really soon here. Does she? Ish. Not no. She does. Well, all right. We could talk about it when we get there because there's at least one part where I'm like, this doesn't seem like angry, naive. Yeah. But okay. And then so my other thought, my my mind's also wandering. There's one section very early on here. I think naive is thinking about how like they've tried every different way to visualize it. Like it's a flower, it's a hummingbird, it's a you know happy whatever, <laughs> mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And then I started thinking, I was like, all right, we know Nynaeve's unique. What if it was the flame? Like she, what if it's the void in the flame that she needs? That to was what on? I thought. And I'm so glad we were it's there. This weird twist of like, maybe she's, you know, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe she's a she's muggle, a, a half breed spirit in a girl's body. Yeah. Something. I don't know. I, I think one of those two would be interesting. The, the void in the flame thing, I think, would be fantastic. The whole and time. Then, so- and then exploring the meaning behind that. That'd be very cool. So I'm right there with you. So like she tried torture. It didn't work. Torture should make her angry, but she's kind of succumbed to this self-loathing loathing and the idea that she's a coward. And I think that's kind of self-fulfilling. She is now making herself out to be a coward. So more you think so maybe in the torturing, else. she feels she deserves it. So doesn't get angry. Correct. Well, in, even in her, ang- she doesn't get angry. She gets upset. Yeah. Because she's like, we're trying everything, and I just cannot overcome this block, and I'm a coward, and I want to just run. But I also want to learn, so I want to stay here. But she's also, in with all of this going on, her only thought is, I need to get this over with so I can get to um, Elaine, so we can get the heck out of here. Right, So de- and distracted, too. Distracted. Right? Yeah. And so I think that was that is another big part of her <clears throat> issue, is she's never completely focused on the task at hand until she's angry because then she becomes singularly focused. Right. She gets that tunnel vision. And that's the whole idea behind the the void. So in my mind, I went exactly to the same spot as you. Why are we envisioning Nynaeve as a flower blooming or the water? I mean, she's never been that throughout the entire book. She has been a firecracker. Yes, Jake, you may speak. 
I I have a lot of issues with the ISDI as an organization. And one of the leading You're in good company is their mantra is basically it's because it's always been this way. Mm-hmm. Oh, my least favorite answer. That came mm-hmm. up in my conversation the other day too. This is how we do it. We're like, well, that's not how I'm going to do this shit. Yeah. My back hurts. <laughs> so sit down. That's that's Sorry. a and and that's that's they don't know why. They do it because that, that's what they do, and nobody questions it. They just continue that the that circle wheel. Yeah. And uh, oh, I like what you did there. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and over time, this wheel. Wait, oh, oh. <laughs> Same page. Um, but yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> nice. Wheel weaves is the wheel nice. wheels. Um, so yeah, that's just, you know, they don't ever think to actually like think about why they do things. They just do it because that's how they've done it. And so that's, you know, they envision them in the, the flowing down the river and the, you know, the, the river is stronger. Can he rode away the, the sides? But right. This has worked for so many other people. It should clearly yeah. work for you. Let's not think outside the box. Yeah. Yeah. And so the other thing that took me back to that again was when it's, is it the- Theodrin? Theodrin? Yeah. Theodrin. The one uh, is talking to Nynaeve and is specifically like, you know, even when you're close, like, and, and about to, you know, reach out and brace, you're still like holding on or clawing on like last little bit, something like that. And I'm like, well, if you're in the void and there's nothing left to hold on to, there you go. If, if you get yourself into a moment of nothingness, then there's nothing to cling on to. So anyways, I, that'd be cool if that's the way it turns out. Yeah. Nah. It's in her fear for others that she gains her lack of, or her, her, she gains herself, she gains her focus, she gains her confidence when others are being harmed, <clears throat> and that is her flow. Yeah, anyway, let's continue. Where are we at? Are we actually reading a book? We're in the very beginning, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> first page. Um, so yes, a little, a little oh, that, that uh, Nine Eve brought up, kind of the thought of at least, is. When she's using the one power to dry her clothes, she you know she says or thinks that they don't use the power like I style or novices or except don't use the power for doing chores. Like a couple of chapters ago, that's all the Ashma were doing. Right? Yeah, I was to say contrast to the dudes. Like that's how he's training them. Yeah. You're like, you want a hot meal? Cook it. Yeah. <laughs> With your mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. um so at this point, they're they're t- they're exhausted. They decide let's break for the night, get some sleep, and then Eve goes straight to uh, her in Elaine's room. Um, Elaine's there complaining about her day, um, and Nynaeve tries to break all that by saying like, "Hey, listen, I kind of agree with Mogedian. We need to go to we need to no. go to Camelin. She shouts Mogedian's name. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I agree with Mogedian. Don't say that out loud. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, girl, can you believe this bitch, this and that bitch, that and da, 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 da. it's like Mogadian, Mo, 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 Mogadian. Yeah, and she's like, you're, you're stupid. Mufasa, what? Who said <laughs> Mufasa? <laughs> what did you say? Uh, <laughs> uh So yeah, uh, Elaine does not really want to go. She thinks she should stay in Solidar. Um, she has um, a good but, reason. Yeah. She's fearful of these Aes Sedai. Abandoning mm-hmm. Ran and going to the tower, and she feels like she plays a role in helping her boy. So, also, I think that bad for her compared to what's been going on in the last little while. Like they're not on the road traveling. Um, yeah. well, but yeah, not, yeah. life's not bad. Not, life's not bad for Elaine. For now, she's getting waterboarded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? But I think the other side of that really is like. <clears throat> Like we said, she, he's got a lo- she has a loyalty to making sure Rand is taken care of for sure. But then Nynaeve is again has this like imposter syndrome going on. She feels like she's not meant to be there. She feels like all I am is a big coward, but I'm being tied in with all of this awesomeness. I mean, mm-hmm. you have Logan and his cause. You've got Elaine and her teaching classes now and teaching how to make Trangriol and Sangriol. And you have um, 
oh, Swan, who is like running the show from behind the scenes, essentially. Like everybody else, yeah, everybody else and has a role. puppets. Mm -hmm. I love Swan. <laughs> and here you have, I do too, honestly. She's one of my favorites. Yeah. You got Nynaeve, who now has no place. Like she went from being mm -hmm. uh, HBIC to less than. Yeah. So there's that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And at this point, right as they're having this conversation, uh, Nani feels Sidar being drawn somewhere, and the door opens up, and Tarna comes in. Dun-dun-dun. Uh, <laughs> Dun-dun-dun. Yeah, and says, hey, Elaine, you need to come with me. <laughs> <laughs> why Why are the rest of the rebel Aes Sedai just like totally okay with her walking around freely and talking to whoever she wants? She's still an Aes Sedai. Yeah. Mm, yeah, but they could have had a crafty way of someone being with her. They don't want to. And well, I took it as them not wanting to to have any kind of uh, malicious intent towards any other sister because, like, they still want to have a united tower, just not under Elida. Yeah. Yes. You know that ship's already sailed, right? I mean, while there is a way to come back, it is, in fact, coming back. It's not joining like you've never left. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I mean, we... So, I mean, at least that's my... We know opinion. that somebody was up in the window watching, and I think she was the one watching when Nynaeve snuck away. Oh, and then she just point, so yeah. happened to show up here while they're talking about this instance. So I feel like yeah. she's been spying on me for a minute. Yeah, exactly. And then she makes comments about, we're getting into this, but the people that are in the town, and I feel like she might have an idea that Mogan is there. I was getting that vibe. Well, and I she might, was clawing for answers. I think she answers. might even be the dark friend trying to find her master. Hmm. I mean, I think master. that about all reds at this point, but uh, <laughs> I was awesome. definitely... Uh, at this point. I was not giving mm -hmm. getting great vibes from her at all. Mm -mm. Yeah. And I was so nervous on how Nynaeve uh, and Elaine might respond to her. She's kind of asking questions, but especially when she talks to Nynaeve like alone, you know, it, just blatantly put out there. Well, you know, we've heard you two were here and that you're doing these amazing things, blah, blah, blah. And we hear about other people and then brings up Swan and everything. And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, does she know mm -hmm. that Swan is there? Or is does she have some intel and she's looking for confirmation? So as I'm reading this, I'm like, Nani, don't make a face. Don't, yep, yeah. And all the while, she's got like her, you know anything. She's laid yeah. back, got her feet kicked up on their pillow. Like I'd be super <laughs> angry. Like I could see the dirt stains on the pillow. Like that uh, would, would kill. Well, her. So I, I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. I'm wrong a lot. Um, but I thought that Elida basically had it n known about. That Juan and Leanne were like died, like they, they yes, died. yes, still, still and killed, right? That That's is. what that was the information put out, and I think That's at some narrative. point she doubled down on it when when talking to some for people, yeah. Or whatever, so, so Tarna mm -hmm. coming from the tower from a from Elida would have no reason to even, and also being a red, that mm -hmm. well, no, wouldn't not even think that uh, Swan and Leanne would be alive, but I right. mean, what is Elida? What well, she was wasn't Elida. Right. So, of course, the people she's going to trust with her real secrets and to handle something like this would be another red. I still think this woman is a dark friend. Right. But... like or, or straight black Aja. Mm -hmm. um, and, and has some intelligence from the camp there. Oh, yeah. That, that she's clearly mm -hmm. not discussing with Elida. I uh -huh. mean, all sorts of... Oh, all yeah. of these are possibilities. Yeah, gotcha. so, uh, yeah. You think, yeah. think Tarna knows more than Elida at this point? Oh, yeah. For sure, that could be yep. unless Elida's playing dumb and, no. and using people. To, like I, I just Elida I, has lost a lot for me. Elida used to be wrapped in mystery. Yeah, she, she doesn't seem as crafty around. Like she's lost all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Tarna as well as uh, bringing up Rand. You know, uh, saying that's one of the other reasons why she wants Naive to come with him because her knowledge of Rand. Um, and also ask Naive about Egwene, like where she is. 
just trying to gather all this information. Of course, naive is cool, cool as a cucumber. Just that. Yeah. Nope. I was very impressed. Uh, like I like I said, I was terrified shit. Naive would say that. Surprisingly this. impressed. Yeah. <laughs> or, like, or, snap or back and say something ridiculous. From Naive's perspective, and Naive's just telling us that she's cool as a cucumber. <laughs> Yeah, well, right. Everybody's so, the hero of their own story. That's, Ian, yeah. now that you said it, I want to go back to this too. She specifically said, and you can't be a, you can never be made an Aes Sedai here. The oath rod is in the tower. The testing can only be done in the tower. Stay away from that oath rod. The, since you said it, I can't get it out of my head. This is the way that the Black Aja control the rest by making sure they use. The oath rod. They're handcuffs. Mm. Yes. Like significant handcuffs. And as long as Egwene and Nynaeve are not full eyes to die, they can use their power at will. Mm. Yeah. And they're being taught and groomed by eyes to die. So they're getting all of the knowledge that they have, plus they're getting all the information from Mogadine or Mogadine, however you pronounce it. Yeah. So they're going to be like the... They're essentially battle mages at this point. They're not Aes Sedai. Yeah. Like they're above that. But well, yeah, I was gonna say, and their their full potential, so long as they don't touch that oath rod, is still infinitely greater than any current Aes Sedai. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Um and remember, apparently the Black Aja have a way of getting around the Oath Rod. Clearly. Because they've <laughs> straight up killed non-dark friends. So yep. how they do that. And and I, w- I would assume, I can't think of a specific example, but to do what they've done, I mean, there had to be flat out lies told. Mm-hmm. So anyways. Yep. Yeah. Um, sus. Sus. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, and Tarna eventually turns to even trying to bribe Nynaeve and then actually just settle threats to, to Nynaeve as well. Just, just try to get her to go. Um, Nadi stands firm, refuses, uh, same as Elaine, and and eventually Tarna leaves, realizing that they ain't going. <laughs> I mean, that also um, surprised me because I thought Nynaeve would use this as her way to get out. Like, okay, I'll sneak off with her, and then in the night, I'll sneak away from her or something. It'd be much easier to get away from one eye to than a whole group. But I, I legit don't remember. Did she, Was it just her that came in, or did she come in with a, with an entourage? Just her. It was, it was just, just her. her. Just the red, mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah. Elaine ended up leaving. Oh, yeah, reds, reds don't have warders, so that, that wouldn't be an issue, um, right? I didn't know if no. they. I didn't know if it was a group, like a like an actual emissary, or just like one person. No, just having her, having her little sidebar and snooping around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, so after this, Naive goes to try to find uh, Elaine. Um, when she finds her, Elaine has the two rings to go to tell her on Riyad. Um, and Nynaeve again tries to convince her to go to Camelin, especially after Tarna's visit, saying, hey, we need to get out of here. Um, but Elaine, yeah. well, Lane double down, doubles down at the point. She's like, after mm-hmm. that visit, like, even, like, that right. That reaffirms my wanting to stay here and stay, stay here. with these folks. Right. How big a head does Elaine have that she could, she thinks she could stop the entire Saladar group from going? <laughs> <laughs> Right. That's yeah. You're a 19 year old. <laughs> and without any real plan, she's like, I don't know like what it is, but I just feel like I need to be here to prevent that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, good luck. I mean, I dig it. Stand firm to, you know, to your friends above all else, you know, stick sure. to your gumption. Yeah. But, yeah. uh, principles. Yeah. 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 Look, a little bit of ego there. We made about, uh, checking out the, uh, let's go take a nap. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, take, let's go take a nap. All right. Yeah, exactly. All right. Let's make a deal. We're, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna use that whole need thing. Need is the key, and let's figure out what we need to convince these ladies not to go. And depending on what it is, we'll go that route. Well, it's more. Let's yeah. let's figure out what a certain somebody needs to conquer the bad guys. But mm. isn't there question specifically? <clears throat> Let's it focus is on the need of what we need, what we can show the Aes Sedai here to, you know, prevent them from I going think back it, to the tower. Like that, that it was on uh, what does Rand need to be successful, essentially. No, well, I, think I don't, I don't think it had to do with it. I think it changed after they went to the tower and realized they couldn't do anything about getting anything from the tower. Do, 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 does this remind you of that scene with Nicolas Cage from Gone 60 Seconds? He's listening to a low rider. I feel the need. 
the need for speed. For speed. <laughs> All right, yeah. let's go. <laughs> and let's also discuss this this trope. Um, this is an obvious cheat code. Like this is um, Tecmo Bowl, the New York Giants pass play that no matter how well you defend it, the pass is always going to mm. be completed. Yeah. Um, this is I that. This is that low, fast, um, weak kick that you could just cheese somebody mm-hmm. in the corner and Street Fighter with. Oh, so yeah. it, it takes a little creative writing, and I've yet to be convinced by it. I know there's the whole, well, you can't do it every time because it's dangerous. But also, fuck it, why not? Why not every single time be like, all right, uh, we got we got this item that it says we needed to get. So let's hop back in and do the need thing again and figure out what the next step is. Like every I've point been- of this story, if they're like, I don't know what to do next or we're in a tough situation, if they pulled this need and Teleron Riyadh card, then... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, itself, right? Yeah, there's there's a difference between like like being an asshole and then just exploiting something just to 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 win. I don't know. I mean, I, it, it goes back to like fifth grade. In fifth grade, we had volleyball outside, and I was the best server on the team. It wasn't because I was good at serving. I was pretty accurate on where I could put it, but it wasn't a good serve. But I mm-hmm. could put it close to the girl I knew could never hit it back over the net. So I would always just serve it directly to her. I mean, is that cheating? Perfect sure. example. We got every single point. Uh, I mean, we won uh, every game because I'm just like, I'll keep hitting to her. Uh, like, so over yeah, and over that was and over about, again. That was, like, was about bragging asshole. rights. I'm like, I, I don't care. Like, we won. At, at <laughs> most, that was about bragging rights and environment where you're being taught to, you know, work together and blah, blah, blah. Right. Here with Nynaeve and Elaine, the fate of the world and all humankind is at stake. Don't you think they they should serve to the not so good person? Like yeah. use the cheat code. Yeah. Up, up, okay. down, down, A, B, select, start. It's two player, baby. Yep. <laughs> I think I forgot a left, right, left, right. You know what I'm talking you about. You did left, right, left, right. Yeah. 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 You did, but that's okay. That's okay. We got we got you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so... they didn't. I just was checking it out, and you know, this, they weren't like, I need this. So this is just like, all right, need. So they're not even kind of requesting anything specific to get the the Saladar Acid to stay or to not go to Elida or for Rand. They're just kind of like, all right, kind of a general. What, what the fuck do we need? Yeah, we don't even know where to go from here. Yeah, yeah. spin the bottle. Hey, hey. <laughs> but at the end of the day, they manage to find things that will help but don't specifically know how they're going to help. So it's like, yeah, what's the use? Yeah. Now what they did end up finding in the end, the little, was it a crystal bowl? Bowl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With some weather in it. With some weather. Mm -hmm. Like, so in my mind, I saw a bowl full of hurricanes. (laughs) Yeah. I saw a globe and not necessarily a bowl, but I know they said bowl specifically, but that just makes more sense to me. Something that could actually hold the rain cloud in it. Yeah. I can't wait to see how they do this in the show. Like that's gonna be some really cool effects. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Um, okay, wait. Yeah, let's back up a little bit. This yeah, is we're way forward. Well, but <laughs> yeah, it, it I is... know we skipped all over seeing um, seeing Egwene. Oh yes. Well, so I'm I'm going back even before that. Um, before before we jump in the whole need thing. Um, he gets naive, says something like, or Elaine says, you remember what you told me about using need to find something in Teleron Riyadh? And then she says, what we need is a way to convince the hall not to go up to Elida. So I think that's what tripped me up. But I think you're right. When they go to use the need cheat code in Teleron Riyadh, that doesn't necessarily mean Teleron Riyadh is going to give them that specific need because it, it they were more general in their focus when they're going in. So maybe they think, oh, whatever this is, is going to help us <clears throat> keep the eyes and eye from going to tell around the odd. Well, or to the tower. Meanwhile, mm-hmm. this cheat code is going to send them in a completely different direction that they didn't know they needed. Hmm. All right. Okay. I, I'm, I'm going to be quiet for a while. Sorry. No, yeah. you're right. Everybody's face was just like, huh? You, yeah, thank you. That's that's where I was going with that. You have to connect all the red lines. Like, Every time glazed over, like what? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So yeah. Um, th- before we get to the bowl, they do find this a storeroom full of uh, Terangriel and Agriel. Of course, Elaine immediately starts picking up stuff, and Naive's like 
being all nervous Nelly over there like uh we should channel into things we don't know what they're gonna do and she's like trust me i make these things i'm good now <laughs> link with me baby i need more help for this one i make these things i know what, what i'm doing to all the, the eyebrow and tongue grill that um moraine had okay well do tell what happened to that i mean uh, it was being sent to the tower right uh-huh did it ever actually leave or is That's, it still chilling with the I, I, I only thought about it when they entered the room in the tower with all the random things, with little figurines of people and animals. I was like, well, we've seen a really useful little figurine that somebody uses to get extra power. So are little, all of these, like, yeah, little, little, little Buddha man, are all mm -hmm. of these the same thing? And are these part of that collection? They can't be because of all the dust that was in the room. So then my mind went yeah. to, oh my God, I never thought about what happened to Moraine's treasures. Yeah, they're, they're somewhere. They exist, but dark uh, friends well, have well, them. Well, they might still be in Carrion. The red stone door uh, got, got melted down. Right. So that's yeah, gone. Right. But yeah, yeah, but everything else. Yeah. All the other treasures, where did they go? Where did yeah. they go? Jake, where did they go? I don't know. Where'd they go? Ah. I mean, I do know, but where'd they go? <laughs> Where have all the agreeables gone? Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, uh, yeah, so um, eventually they do make their way and they find a room with a chest. Upon looking at the chest, they find this crystal bowl um, that changes cloud patterns. That was right something. after finding the two really cool swords and the chest plate. I want to mm -hmm. know what that's all about. Okay. Maybe that was uh, Luce Theron's old uniform and, and weapons. I mean, it mm. seems like it was stored there after some significant battle a long time ago and never touched again. It's Luce mm -hmm. Theron's gear. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. No, I love how Elaine Elaine looks at it and goes, I don't know, but I think, I think it has something to do with weather. Well, no shit. You saw clouds and stuff swirling around in there. Yeah. Okay, Going Captain Obvious. Well, I um I kind of took it as like it, well based on Nani's reaction and also uh like her having that um kind of assumption that it has to do with the weather I assume or and her saying that she's not powerful enough on her own I think she actually kind of channeled into it a smidgen oh and yeah that's what, oh yeah that's what made the cloud swirl mm -hmm. like they would, wouldn't have done it on their own. <clears throat> I, yeah, don't. I I I agree. Yeah, I thought the same thing. I think this is what's going to bring rain back, which is going to bring food, which is going to make people happy. And then the book that story's over. Yeah. No more Lord of no, Chaos. No, no. Land no. of Harmony and Happiness. Mm -hmm. yep. Right, yep. Well, hey, yeah. Alan, we're we're done with the podcast. They just figured out the world. Okay. <laughs> we just go. Oh, just right. figured it out. Our rainbow right. comes up at the end. Line, boys. <laughs> the unicorn <laughs> comes hi. down the rainbow. <laughs> hi. Yeah. What's up? That, that's Evan. <laughs> oh, hi. Hey, Evan. All right. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly PG. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Um, I, I like this answer from Dean Moxley about where they went. Did we share that yet? Uh, you know, Walmart, that's, that's Walmart Six Flags. Six Flags. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he'd go with the, I'm going to Disneyland. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> there you go so you know they, they find this and they don't actually know where they are i mean they, they figure they're actually not in the tower so they go outside to try to figure out where all the stuff is and they have some trouble at first because all the streets look the same uh they realize they're in some kind of city um uh, and they eventually put two and two together and and figure out they're in ebudar which is a place that we haven't been yet yeah um but it's on the map <laughs> yeah, I, I did peek at the map, but because we haven't been there, I didn't put too much thought process into it. Yeah. Kind of figured we'll get there when we get there. Yeah. So here's the real question. Are they going to mm -hmm. leave? Mm -hmm. So they made the agreement that whatever they came up with through this process of need, that mm -hmm. that is what they were going to do. They mm -hmm. kind of, you know, spit on their hands and shook on it. So yeah. I would assume they're going to make their way to this town now uh, and try yeah. and find this random storeroom that apparently nobody's been in for and possibly beyond. thousands of years. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they, and they return to their bodies. Elaine drifts back to sleep and Nadiv stays awake um, as instructed and tries to, th and thinks about her block and 
and being able to channel whenever and she doesn't realize she starts to cry and that's how we end the chapters yeah about <laughs> yeah huh. exactly well so so sorry i got distracted for a sec um i was checking out the map and uh saladar is actually not that far from Abigar. yeah so you thinking they might do a quick pop in i mean it's a boat trip it's down the river mm-hmm Sail me down the river. That's a that's a quick tubing trip right there. Yes, I, know, tube. I, know, I know what they're gonna do. What get do a cool think? get a cooler of beer and an inner tube, you'd be there in no time at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I say it like this, a bubble keg of uh rum and coke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before <laughs> this next chapter, they were definitely going. Now that we've touched this next chapter, it's kind of sus. It's, it's very questionable mm -hmm. as to what they're gonna do. Yeah. So okay. Well, I mean, they have more options, but I still think they're dipping. I, you know, I I don't know. Like, Nynaeve is um, a megalomaniac in some extent. Like, she's all about herself. And now she's, well, we'll get to it. But yeah, I we'll think she it. may start to change her mind now that Ny she can. Nynaeve change her mind? What yeah. book are you reading? <laughs> no, you got to think about it. You got to think about it. When we, when we start reading it, I just really want you to think about this idea. Okay. And you changing her mind. I'm going to put mm -hmm. it in there and I'm going to let it simmer and yeah. mm -hmm. see what happens. Okay. Sounds good. Um, and that's what we in this chapter. Is there anything else we missed? Uh, there was a neat but not totally significant back and forth when that red first walked in the room and was like, oh, the queen of Camelin. We didn't really talk about that much, but I did enjoy mm -hmm. that while I was reading it. And she's like, ah, not yet. Technically, I got to do this ceremony. And that's only if my mom's dead. And just in, in her tone, I still feel confident that Elaine doesn't think her mom's dead, which is good because no. she's not yeah. yet. Mm -hmm. Question yeah. mark? Maybe. Well, and then there's the whole idea of them figuring out how to exclude a place within the need. Mm -hmm. That's right. That was pretty cool. Hey. And Pater's going to save more gays, so we're good. Um, she's so in good she hands. She is in good hands. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this character keep popping up? That's the bigger question. Yeah. Oh, although it'd be cool if like the whole dark friend thing didn't work out for him. So he's like, screw this. And like decides like he wants to work for good now. And then he uh -huh. just like is super clumsy and stumbles into helping our heroes uh oh. in some fashion like on the yeah, battlefield he, he trips guys. and knocks over a spear that accidentally stabs like you know a yeah. forsaken yeah yeah right <laughs> i feel like the dark one's gonna take over his body that would be priceless uh, that'd be awesome that that would be the irony yeah i'm not bold enough to predict that but i would you can put that. that down as a prediction that i think i okay. said it way back when we first <laughs> met there him you go yeah. because we were joking about him That's being around for, for a him. long time and now he keeps popping back up <laughs> do you remember those days uh, where we're like hey, oh, yeah. he got punched in the face he's never yeah. coming back but he's definitely coming back <laughs> he's got to play a bigger role they all come back <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um yeah. Um, yeah. So that's that's it. So anything else before we move on? Yeah. All right. Oh, well, to... there's the. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna do it. No, go I'm gonna it. go back just a little bit and say, okay. Egwene is really becoming the Dreamwalker. Elaine or Egwene? Elaine. Egwene. 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 Yeah. Okay. Egwene. Yeah. Because she pops up for just a brief second, clearly mm. like not like she normally would. And so like they see her and she like pops away real quick. Yeah. And she like, certainly has more control than 90 even Elaine. Yes. And she's, she's quickly learning and mastering what the dream walkers do. So, yeah. you it, know, when Lanfear returns, mm -hmm. I can see her giving her a run for our money. Or if Mogadin uh, slips away, something like that. I have, I have more thoughts on that that are more related to her in the next chapter. So I'll save it. But yeah. you're not you're not wrong. <laughs> she good. Mm -hmm. Okay. She good. Mm -hmm. What okay. were you gonna say, Jake? I was gonna say they get into it a little bit in the next chapter. She gets into it about kind of her <clears throat> teaching herself because the uh, you know after what she went through a little while back, yeah. the wise ones don't feel like she's ready to learn yet. Yeah. Well, she's uh being sneaky sneaky. 
Mm-hmm. But that, that's yeah. next chapter. We'll get to it. Yeah. You guys ready to move on? Or I'm good. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah I can. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So moving on to chapter 14, uh, dreams and nightmares. And our symbol is the dream ring. The twisted. That'd be a very difficult ring. ring to wear, by the way. I'm thinking about that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the, if it doesn't like form to fit anybody's finger, it's kind of like the one ring from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. I don't think so. I think it just, because uh, it, it just it has to be touched. Okay. It doesn't have to. It just have to be touched. Okay. They don't it wear it. Fit, usually. They keep it around there like on a chain. Okay. Gotcha. And they, yeah. they talk about it being massive, right? Didn't we talk about like maybe it was made for yeah. beer? Or something. I like that. Like, <laughs> said she, like, she could put two thumbs in it or something. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Like, yeah. uh, it's, 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 yeah. <laughs> so it's not it's not like the Lord of the Rings ring where it can said. fit to anyone. So, you know, it's, it's one of those uh, things like in the Lord of the Rings thing with that. Uh, someone asked me the other day if like a fly through flew through the ring, would it shrink down and fit the fly? And then what would happen? <laughs> like, oh. The fly gets corrupted. and <laughs> That would be funny. I'd watch that movie. plot twist for Tolkien. <laughs> <laughs> it becomes Jeff Goldblum, and it's just the fly from 1982 or something like that. All right, Alan, I need you to keep this to yourself for a little while. Marinate uh-huh. on it and write some fanfic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very grossly, you made my mind run to uh, this season's first episode of The Boys. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen it yet. Don't do it to me. Don't tell me. Don't watch anything else. Just watch the first episode of current season. Watch the first five minutes. Walk, then <laughs> then, then just walk, walk away. away. No, you will be no, a changed watch the rest man. Of the season. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. It is, it is uh, awesome season. Man, that opening. I'm yeah. just waiting for <laughs> this Friday before people come down. I like decide to take a half a day and I may extend it to a full day. And if I do, I'm watching the boys. Yeah. Call, call um, me when you get there. Yeah, <laughs> five minutes in. in. <laughs> I think it's episode six as well. Is uh, yeah, oh, six is um, six is crazy. Yeah, uh, six is crazy. The whole damn series is crazy. If you <laughs> think that oh, is you think it's crazy now? No, you ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. It's like how can they go that much further? That. Man, uh. yeah. Just what I thought. You couldn't get any dumber. I was watching. Uh, I was watching someone. I was watching a yourself. YouTube thing on it. Like that they, they, like to get Amazon to approve this, they had to like go through how many committee meetings to oh, like Lord. and like talk about like okay, you're gonna do what now? <laughs> mm-hmm. So hear me out. <laughs> well, I mean, they they just here Ratings. check out the graphic, the graphic novel. Yeah. Yeah. Graphic indeed. The graphic. Uh, yes. They start filming the next season next month. So okay. Mm. Cool. Yeah. Wow. It'll just get even better, worse. Yeah. That, yeah. You get it. If you is were it talking bad about that it they from... put it out there, or is it bad that we all watch it and go, this is fantastic? Yeah, I can't that's... wait for the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Serious. Um, is it, is it, is it Carl Urban who plays Butcher? Yeah. Carl Urban. Yeah. Um, um pe- people were trying to fanfic him on Wheel of Time. Like, who, who would he play at Wheel of Time? I mean, obviously, it had to be a Forsaken or something like that, but, uh, <laughs> Billy Butcher. Um, but yeah, that was yeah. Anyway, let's move on to chapter 14. Um, so we're in dreams and nightmares. In Ilianer. Yeah. Give me him as yeah. Bill Doman. Give me him Bill on the Doman? Oh yeah. Oh Bill Doman. He'd be a great Bill Doman. Oh, yeah, that would. would work. Yeah. He would formlessly she floated in the infinity. Yeah. Infinity. The, between the space Hella and Riyad. In the waking world, the narrow Space gap between, between that's where my mind <laughs> and reality. <Yeah. laughs> uh, I hate you. So this is like this 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 chapter reality. is the inspiration between Dave uh, for Dave Matthews' song. He actually read this uh, Godwin's Wet Dream and thought about writing a song about this. <laughs> Space between <laughs> is that what what everybody calls this chapter? Uh, is this no, no I'm just because I can see all the fans saying that, like for real, as as we get There's into it. A few things happen in this chapter. Only one thing happens in this chapter. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have I have comments, but I'm being patient. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and she's uh, floating through space where you can see everyone's dreams like little pen pricks. And she, uh, yeah, she wonders uh, why Nynaeve and Elaine um, were in the section of the tower she saw. Um, she's a w- weird woman. Why is she avoiding them? Right? Yeah. What's up, friends? That's the greater yeah. question. Like, did I miss something, Ian? 
Like I that the first thing that hit my mind was was why is she avoiding them? She like, talks about it a little bit, and she even thinks to herself, like, uh, you know, I could have risked it. It looked like it was just Elaine and Nynaeve, but Teleron Riyadh has been very busy lately with all these other Aes Sedai that are coming in. She absolutely does not want to run into any of them. Well, and that's the um, thing. Like, half the Aes Sedai coming in, more than half, have been let in by Nynaeve and, Egu- and Elaine. Kind of, right. Kind of but Egwene, Egwene doesn't actually know that uh, Elaine, I think, has made more Tyrant Girls either. So she's kind because of confused as well. Because she hasn't communicated with her. Like, right. right. Communication in the Wheel of Time? Be... Say it ain't so. What? <laughs> but that's because no. the wise ones aren't letting her officially, right? Yeah, officially. Yeah, but yeah. she's been but also, unofficially conversing with them over and over and over again. Well, so I don't want to hear that. I think it's out of a, out of an abundance of caution because with yeah the the eyes that I actually meeting with the wise ones to learn because the wise ones are like, well, if you little children are gonna be here fucking around, we're gonna make sure you don't get trapped in a nightmare and die. Right. Right. Um, mm-hmm. And so, like, they just don't want any kind of crosstalk to be like, well, Egwene said this, and like, what the fuck's Egwene doing here? Yeah. So That and the type of traveling to Teleron Riyadh, going through this nothingness, and then slipping into other people's actual dreams is, from what we've read so far, probably the most dangerous way to travel through here. Like, very risky, especially being in other people's dreams, which we're about to find out. Well, yeah. Well, so they've mentioned this vaguely way back in the waste when uh when rand was gathering the clan chiefs and they're talking about you know communicating in between the dreams so that's kind of what they do in this space right. it just kind of like she said you touch the tip of your finger to the surface of the water without breaking it but the water still touches like just right. kind of hovering on the edge but uh yeah i guess with some some feelings like that you can tend to get pulled into a dream if you're not yeah good. <laughs> yeah i mean I guess that could happen to anybody. That's a little insensitive, Chris. (laughs) Also, kind of an invasion of privacy. Kind of? Big time. Big time. (laughs) Big time. (laughs) Yeah, I don't want anybody entering and seeing my dreams. (laughs) No. Yep. No, there's, there's, no, no. there's relevant up. uh there's relevant stranger things commentary i can make here but i know not everybody's caught up on the new season but there's a similar invasion of privacy that happens there shame shame mm-hmm. yeah shame, shame. Mm-hmm. yeah but it but it's also a lot funny very similar than this. actually yeah. yeah but the stranger things yeah. version is very funny i think yeah yeah, yeah. But, but still inappropriate yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was so perfectly on point. It's not even funny. Like <laughs> Alan and I, I think have acted that out. I'm talking about Stranger Things now. We've yeah. acted that out. Like I don't understand what the I don't what, what and then the other one like why are you even trying to understand women? It's just so ridiculous. <laughs> 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 right, I spoiled a little bit, but yeah, we've uh, totally done that. Not big plot spoilers, you're good. No, yeah. All right. So she, she she also sees an Aes Sedai um, there, and she's wondering. She wonders how'd she get there, um, and, and intentionally there. She comments yeah. that all right, this isn't a quick slip in, slip out. Yeah, she, she's this looking one at is intentionally stuff there. like, yeah, she's a dark friend. Yeah. Um, I but 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 again, Egwene doesn't know about the new Tarangri ter- Tarang- thing. Yeah. Yes. Tarang- I thought it might, might be. Was it Leanne? Because she's dipping and bopping around till around yeah. wearing other faces, right? Like looking yeah. like other folks. Yep. Could be. So, so you can't go by description alone. She. I started thinking about that. She's like all tanned and bronzed and blah blah blah. And I was mm-hmm. like, well, but people are also learning how to disguise themselves there. So yeah. Yeah, I, at first I thought it was Leanne. Then I was like, "It's a dark friend." And I'm like, "Nah, maybe it, maybe it is Leanne." Right. It's it's Baron. The more we it's... talk about it, the more I'm like, "All right, I I agree with the Green. Trust nobody." Right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, um, um, she continues to wander around, uh, and think of the two women she keeps seeing around Riyadh. Uh, one of them is a beautiful Demani woman uh, that looks rather misty, and the Swan, other one's a sturdy yeah. yet pretty woman. With blue eyes and very determined face, yes, Swan and Leanne. Swan. Yes, um, Swan yeah. Easy piece. Yeah. Um, uh, seems very solid for popping in. Yeah. So that's yeah, where she's just wondering about that. Um, she has Egwene been. Yeah. Sorry, Ellen. Egwene doesn't realize that they've been sealed and changed how they sure. look. Sure, she doesn't recognize yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, I thought about that. 
Yeah. Yeah. She even with a tear for a bit. Um, and, and basically Gwen's just trying to, you know, learn hints and pieces of what's going on in the rest of the world by kind of traveling around, you know, to different places and picking up little things, maybe trying to figure out a lot of his plans, um, might find something useful. That's, you know, kind and, of yeah, her mission. And, and, in some of her thought processes, she is talking about like, you know, how the wise ones, like she could learn so much more doing this if she did it with the wise ones, but they won't teach her. And so she has to try and blah, blah, blah. And then, so my mind, I'm going down this rabbit hole of how much do the wise ones actually know? And we're being led to believe like they're the experts when it comes to dream walking. They're the experts when it comes to Teleron Riyadh, but they're so stingy in what they show and reveal to people. Maybe, maybe they're really good at what they do know, but they all have their individual limitations so yeah. maybe as a, a, a Gwaine is just randomly <clears throat> stumbling around trying to find the stuff out, she might accidentally surpass what they know. I think she's she, going to. Yeah. Like I, I can see this moment around. of her getting caught. And then when they tell the wise ones like, well, I was just doing this and hopping in this dream and doing that. And then I did this to this person and then came out and blah, blah, blah. They're going to be like, oh shit, we need <clears> to <throat> talk amongst ourselves. And they're like, nobody's been able to do that among our people in like 20,000 years. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> do we tell her how awesome she is or do we scold her? Like, I say we scold her. Okay, all right, ponytails. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But yeah, we it just yeah. reminded we like we have this impression of the wise ones and what they can do, but we don't really know. We don't know their limitations. We don't know how far they can go with this. Yeah. And yeah, so... After that, she thinks about breaking into the ranch dream, uh, decides against it, says, yeah, I'm not going to try again. The words are too too much. Yeah, I won't um, waste another day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So thinks about trying. Tried. Yeah. Uh, and she thinks about trying to locate Saladar again. And then she notices this little little pen prick that starts to move towards her. Let's wait. And, we want to stop and, and recognize Perrin has been mentioned. Okay. And land because we haven't had a land chapter yet. Either. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, we haven't. We don't know what's going on with land. No, so we have Perrin and Lamb both popping up in here, and of course, we know like Perrin floats in and out of the dream world too, just in his own way. But I just wanted to bring attention to the fact that my man was got a shout out, yeah, yeah. and what maybe it's a good land? thing. Go maybe it's a good thing Egwene hasn't revealed to Nynaeve and Elaine that she can do this and that she is doing it. Because what would Nynaeve do? Go, I'll go straight check, to land. Go check on land. Who do you think? Who do thinks would be more powerful in, in the in the world of dreams? Do you think it's gonna be Egwene with the wise ones' teachings or a parent with the wolf's teachings? Oh, different kind of power, man. That's like yeah. comparing a, a a double bacon cheese <laughs> Swiss burger to like Popeye's <laughs> chicken sandwich. Like two mm. different categories. Mm. Both also but, in the room, right? They're both meat on buns. I mean, so ah. they're close from a distance. I put my meat on buns shit, too, but we're not going to go. Give a tea. <laughs> I, I tee it up. You swing the back. Like, Chris. My, mouth, my mouse froze. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Just yeah. when you're trying to sound smart we just yeah. <laughs> we reveal ourselves i was comparing cheeseburgers uh, to chicken sandwiches, that was perfect sandwiches. Timing. <laughs> perfect all right timing. so even if even if they're they're not necessarily the same compared it's still a valid question we're gonna make you answer it it seems mm -hmm. like what the wise ones are teaching would give you more control over that space but what I find interesting is that Hopper, after dying, was still able to exist in that space. Mm -hmm. And there is power in that. Um, May I present to you... Where are we at in the books? Uh, uh, spoil guys. me, baby. <laughs> spoil no. me, baby. No, that's Where's the thing. Early yeah, I can't get too far. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so, well, that just means we got something to look forward to. I think I'm to. good, but I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I'll uh, you can DM me and I'll let you know. Huh? Roll, the, roll the dice. Pull a mat and just roll yeah. that dice. <laughs> no, no, that's, that that's dice. fine. No, the Brigitte stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, and yeah. her popping out? Yeah. Well, her existing there, period. Sure. In yeah, right, right. Being spun out. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, so I 
to to kind of go back to that what um it almost seems like they're doing the same thing they're entering the world in the exact same way more in a spirit way they're not using magic to necessarily uh, how, how do i word this because it's still the power but but not the power like they're i want to say it's like just getting into the mainframe this is some matrix shit man like does. our forsaken can keep reloading into people and every time they die apparently they just go chill in the mainframe until someone loads them up in a new body you got that like jake was saying the brigitte thing where there's certain people obviously that just keep getting recycled if, if this turns into another matrix man it better be I mean, we have a that. lot of books to go. <laughs> yeah. And it yeah. could become some sci-fi type ish. Yeah. But I, I I was in my mind, you know, the others are using a tool to enter, and there that's one way of entering. And the other is more of a spiritual entering. And that's kind of what I see Egwene doing, and that's how I view parent entering, is it's more like the soul is stepping into the plane. It's like a and more of so, a natural, yeah, more of a natural type way of penetrating. Correct, the, the way we all like it. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I, I think the the thing about it for Perrin is that he has a more natural guide, like um, right. Egwene has. Egwene's uh, uh, using latex. Perrin's using sheepskin. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it just feels better. <laughs> It's kind of raw dog in it. Let's be honest. <laughs> El natural. Okay. Exactly. Was, that a, was that pun intentional? Uh, oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. All the way. 100%. Wolf. So, if I'm going to give anybody the edge here, I'm going to have to give it to Perrin just because he's doing it naturally. It seems All like the they're, way. it seems like they're part of the yeah. space. Like it's yeah. they're on home yeah. territory there that they're not invading somewhere they don't belong. It's like they are part of it in a way. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So now we're, so, we're back to the this pin prick coming. Well, real real, real quick. Get back real to quick. this. Okay. Um well, because for me it feels like Perrin is kind of like being taught like getting thrown into the deep end of the pool and sink or swim motherfucker. Yeah. Whereas Egwene is not necessarily being coddled, but actually being taught. Correct. So it, it's actually, you've got to, you got to comprehend it. You got to, you got to practice. You got to do it and do it and do it until, you, until yeah. you're, you're, yeah. Right I mean, Egwene has, Egwene, Egwene has guides. Like, this is how you do yeah. this. Let me show yeah. you. Whereas Most Perrin, yeah, guys, Perrin yeah. gets we'll in there try. and it's like, as Hopper's like, how to do that. He's like, you show me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But <laughs> Hopper speaks in that wolf language where it's like, I will yeah. feel you what I'm thinking. And yeah. you know, parents trying to decipher that. It might be one of those things, like I was talking before, like what's what's the overall potential though? Like yeah. what's the ceiling for what the, you know, Hoppers and the parents can do in there versus what's the ceiling that a Gwen and It's, it's, it's can natural do. versus taught. That's really how I was trying to go with it. And yeah. yeah. Very she's much being so. taught. Yeah. He's very much naturally doing it. And so I'm giving but him the right edge. now. She's kind of learning on her own because they're not teaching her. She's on bed. True. Rest. True. Mm -hmm. So, yep. All right. Um, so pen prick. Pen prick. Yep. A little, little teeny car. light. Be like, is that light getting closer? So I want to know. Ah! <laughs> so she realizes like that she can differentiate the different hues. So I really like, is, is this like a, the soul of each huh. person? I know it's the dream, but what makes it different? Like, is this their soul? And that is this like dreams come from the soul. Is this, we, we all give off different vibrations, magic? man. My this vibration's one. not the same as your vibration. Man. <laughs> That's true. That's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. is spirit yeah. magic. Then? The answer, just read and find out. Oh, De definitively, Rafa. definitively. Ooh. But I think like this is part of the spirit flow, like the spirit magic, like everybody touches it a little bit. And so they all got a different hue. So I think she's going to be the best at using that spirit magic when yeah. we get to that point of like actually understanding what the magic is and really getting into the nitty gritty. That's mm -hmm. going to be her specialty. Yeah. Okay. 
and that's why Hopper can exist in here because like he's linked spiritually. Mm. Okay. And that's why I feel like Perrin's gonna be the bomb in here because he's gonna link to all the wolves and have he's all gonna like the accidentally power. be the bomb. He's, he's gonna, gonna create the mad the, <laughs> he's gonna be like spirit bomb, like collection. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Call the wolves anyway. up and be like, yo, yeah, let's wreck some shit. Give me all your power. <laughs> and then we that that then begs the question. For me, with this little prick that we're talking about. Who, Gawain? Gawain. (laughs) (laughs) A little little prick. A little prick. prick. Gawain's got a small what? (laughs) (laughs) what How does does Gawain just, like, gravitate towards her? I mean, I know, like... I think it's because Gawain. his dream was specifically about her. about her. So her getting sucked in there had nothing to do with Gawain's pull. It had to do with her, a version of her existing within his dream. Well, and but, that connection was like magnets. Or was well, this like his need? I, hmm. Well, he's not, he's not a dream walker. Yeah. That's, I think it, that, that was, yeah. Just so the, the only reason I jumped to that conclusion, Chris, is when later towards the end of the dream, when she was, you know, early on there was two Egwene's in the mind, and then they kept mm-hmm. getting drawn closer and closer to really it was just one that took over and she was silent in the background, sort of thing. So yeah, because when in my in my mind it was existing. it was that version of her that was within the dream and she was close enough to it that they just like magnets got sucked together. But that's that that's why my mm-hmm. question exists is like that was not her in the dream. That was oh. his his version it was her, her essence which is still an essence of someone it was his mm-hmm. who his we are thought. is only a small bit of who we are who you're we right. think we are is only a small bit of who we are you're right because every for We're every person i meet interact in. with they have a, a different perception a different mental picture of of who i am yeah. i'm the only one of all the thousands of people that i've ever met in my life i'm the only one that knows the me that i know everybody else knows a different me and it depends on the interactions of well, that defeats there's the still version there's still versions of, spirit, of me it's just not my though. version of me that defeats yeah. the the my idea of this being a spiritual thing how you can't claim that she has a spiritual connection and then say that people aren't connected to each other i'm not saying people aren't connected i'm saying that why would she be connected to herself and be outside of herself meant to her a image of her is outside of herself in somebody else's mind See, we hug different then, because when I give you a hug, like it's it's deep, it's emotional. And when I walk, but away, have I've they got hugged? A, I've got a piece to you with me. Have they kissed? Have they, they met, done anything? Interacted. I'm not saying it has to be a hug. Okay. So, <laughs> like, he, he receives some of her energy. It's that, that magnet, right? man. It's that magnet. It's meta metachlorians, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, and, and you had the mag- degree in this, so I'm gonna back. Magnets are, just, are, yeah, I'm uh, making uh, stuff uh, up. It, Using the magnet analogy, you know, magnets are much more stronger than gravitational force. You know, the yeah, as far as yeah. the forces go, again, the physics of it. I was talking to my son about that the other day, talking about what's stronger, gravity or our or magnetic force. And he's like, you know, um, just do simple demonstration for that. He's just like, he's like, well, gravity's stronger. You know, gravity's so big. Look how big the Earth is. I was like, okay, let's take a tiny magnet. Gravity's holding that down. Let's take another tiny little magnet above it. What, what one? Oh yeah, magnets are a lot stronger than gravity. Oh, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a lot stronger force. Um, anyway, so the little prick was drawn to yes and <laughs> pop. Um, so enough However physics and it. into what dreams. Um, so um, yeah, yeah. Oh, so so Gawain's imagining Rand and him swords, and they're at the sword fight. Yeah, Over whoever's got the bigger sword gets the girl. So, yeah. Can can I say so for a brief moment I got uh, like the the hair on my back stood up. Um and I almost got offended, not offended, but bothered by this almost the same way as like when Rand got um bonded against his will. But then mm-hmm. I had to think about it and it is unpleasant as this was for Gwen. You got to you got to grade Godwin on intent here. It's not like he would ever do this in reality. It's just kind of a fantasy that he's working out in his dreams. So I don't know. I had a brief moment of being totally disgusted, but then I was like, Hmm, Egwene kind of messed up by 
being there. Good night, guys. Mm-hmm. Good night, y'all. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> so See, can you, I think you anyways, said yeah. something that in case anybody my, else cared about that, but you said something that really that. that drew me into this chapter because the whole sword fighting that was interesting. You know, we already know what um, Gawain thinks about Rand. He thinks he killed his mother. He thinks he captured his lover. Like. He he has his sister. We he has all these ideas percolating. Rand is the dark one to go. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He's and like the worst so, of the worst right now. I feel like Gawain has some power because of the level of control he had in this world. And as we get into the dream, it just becomes more apparent to me. Especially with resetting the dream when it's Correct. not going the way he likes. That right. is impressive. <laughs> You've never hit reset? Not, not, not intentionally. Dream. I've yeah. woken up from a dream, been like, oh, man, it was an awesome dream. And then I fall back asleep and it's the same dream. And I'm like, fuck yeah. And mm-hmm. I've realized I was dreaming before and like, you know, I was able to jump really high and kind of fly and stuff. But like, I guess I've you never mean, attempted the reset. Run, yeah. Never. Never, never hit never the reset button. Ever. Like, that seemed like a lot of control. Yeah. A whole lot of control. Mm-hmm. And the fact that he Ooh. could bring Nynaeve in and then stop her from getting out. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe he's so got she, some untapped power there. She's in. That. She's chained. And she's like, this is just a dream. I know how to get out of this. And then she's like... I'm curious. I'll watch for a few minutes and then I'm just going to leave because I can do that. I have that power. I've done it a million times at this point. And then she got sucked in. And then she's like, I can't get out. I can't get out. And now I'm starting to feel this dream because clearly he's not here to capture me. He's here to rescue me. And he thinks he's going to rescue me from Ran. And ooh, I'm getting a little hot and heavy here. And like oh of course sudden, i love you I, silly i love you yeah. like i want to be here but the initial thing was she tried to get out right away and she couldn't gosh i see i didn't even let myself like consider that perspective but that i mean that's good i i got so focused on the connection between the two Egwenes, and that's something you have to be nervous about it's like time traveling and then seeing yourself you know, yeah. if you get too close, like all sorts of crazy shit happens. Like if you're in somebody else's dream, but they're dreaming about you, that version of you and you, I thought that's where the connection was. But man, once you started saying that, I thought about the reset thing. And then and you think about the fact that she got pulled in like that. And couldn't get it. And then I thought, well, then wouldn't that I be like interesting it. if he pops up on Rand and then Rand, fi- not Rand, but his little minion, I forget his name, that's training the guys runs into him first and it's like oh you're a male channeler interesting i mean he is the brother of an Aes Sedai. he clearly has it in his blood you know there's all these people that are around rand and the other um <clears throat> uh Tavirin that are getting these powers these unlikely Discovering they have a, a little sparky spark. Why yeah. not? Why not? That'd be funny. I hate male channelers. <laughs> oh, was that was that a? F- oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> well, and that's the thing. He doesn't Flame hate on. male channelers. Like he stayed with the eyes to die for forever until he decided not to. Well, male channelers versus female channelers. Yeah, but you know, where mm-hmm. is he in the real world? Refresh my memory. I don't remember. He He's was trying to last, find his mother. Or, or last, he was Rand. traveling with a contingent of Aes Sedai from the tower. Yeah, and they met up. Rand. They met up with some of the bad Aiel. The yes, um, the, the shadow. Shadow. Yeah, shadow. shadow. Yeah, I think that was the last interaction we had with him. Yeah. Okay. And they were and cutting so. some deal, possibly to deliver a Gwen. I don't think we really know what their deal was. I don't know. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Rand and Gawain fight over Egwene, and <laughs> Gawain wins. Cuts his and, fucking head off. 
and rolls to yeah. Wayne's feet. <laughs> How romantic. Pulls out, squads, and as disgusted as Egwene wants to be, instead she goes, No, silly, I love you. <laughs> I'm so turned on right now. <laughs> yeah, right. That did it right there. <laughs> it's my childhood best friend. And he just dropped his head off. Take me now, Colin Trick <laughs> <laughs> Leave these chains on, actually. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if that's the kind of kink that your girl needs to get there, uh, mm, got a lot of shovels. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of bodies to hide. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Wait, thoughts. So, 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 did, so, did Gawain, Gawain give Egwene head in the stream? <laughs> Did that just you happen? get giggity for that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. I didn't go. You're not, I'm <laughs> Jake's not like, giggity. I'm not. Like, okay, I'll <laughs> Jake's like, it's my bedtime. I just <sighs> no. But on, on a serious note, so like she, like flaunts all over him. He scoops her up, sweeps her away, and everything becomes magical. The, the fairy her... tales, the stories he's heard growing up in court. Yeah, the the clouds part, the angels sing, the choir. Yeah. There, there are flowers all around, fragrance. Yeah, b- butterflies mm-hmm. and rainbows, and yeah, all that great stuff. And there's so, a blanket laid out. On the one hand, like I started to give him props. I was like, "You must have so much confidence that in your dream you you get the girl of your dreams," because mm-hmm. I've definitely had some pretty fantastic dreams where I was still rejected. So what does that say? My own subconscious is like, you got no chance, buddy. <laughs> um, well, so, but, also- but, but, can I give my butt real yeah, quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, check out my butt. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a nice butt. I've seen it. She also it's comments. Nice mass. Yeah, <laughs> people say I got a nice mass. Uh, Egwene also comments on how, yeah, that's Gawain, but it's a slightly uglier version of Gawain. Yeah. Like it's not as attractive, but what she's looking at is his version of himself, how he sees himself. Yes. Mm-hmm. So he doesn't see himself as attractive as Egwene obviously does at least. Yeah. So there's some self doubt, but at the same time, there's a whole lot of confidence. And then he keeps hitting the reset button because he's saying all the wrong things. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to pay attention girl. to the reset button. That had me tripping. <laughs> I want to pay attention to the word that he used for the reset button. Oh, it was it flicker? Flick. It was, wasn't it? Flick. 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 Yeah. Flick. Flick. The last time we saw flick, 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 we were seeing no, like flicker. different versions. Was it flicker? It was flicker. Oh. So this isn't a full on flicker. It's just a flick. This is flick. So similar. Flick. Why is it similar though? Why? Well, it's kind of choose- like a, a square is a rectangle, but not every rectangle is a square. True. You know, a, a flick is a type. So of are we flicker, saying not- that different realities are just dream, potentially dreams, or dreams are di- are potentially different realities? I am not just me. Because we use shift and the shift, version shift, of me that shift, I know shift. I am. I'm the version of me that I know I am, but that's just one version of me. And then there's the thousands of others of how people have interacted. So are with like me we implying so all of those are me? Are we implying that you know there's the flicks are essentially like what's the word I want to say? foretelling that there will be some type of engagement between the two of them. Does Godwin have the foretelling? No. Oof. I mean, we know well, Ian does. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember being, being in, in junior year uh, English class and Ian saying, oh, my hit my back and can't sit down. Now he's literally going, oh, my hit my back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> just so you know alan um she miss Redesca had the last laugh in that you know why because you can't sit down anymore. but she knows my my brother messages me the other day and he goes hey remember my buddy andrew right and mm-hmm. i was like yeah he's like so andrew's a teacher uh my brother's age oh. i don't know if you ever met him uh the, the, he's the, like he's that king yeah andrew no the, no, no, the, no. The, different Andrew. Oh no, wait. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think it might be him. It might be. Yeah. Him. I won't use last yeah, name. Like do right. just use his ankle and. Right. Yeah. So okay, he, yeah, is, yes. he is a teacher, so it might be him. Uh, but anyways, 
my brother texts me and goes, did you know a Miss Radeska? I was like, you mean Fresca Radeska? <laughs> and so, you know, we go back for a little bit. Turns out that his friend Andrew is um, training to replace her. I don't know if oh. she's retiring or just going to oh, another school. Okay. So, of course, I go, oh, well, tell her I said, you know, what's up? You know, what does she say about me? And, of course, they message back and forth. Five minutes later, he goes, she says hi, and she said you were the worst student ever. <laughs> 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 She's been doing this for 20 years, and I'm yeah. still number one, baby. <laughs> Uh, but then, yeah, of course, I followed up. I was like, I don't know if you remember this, so you might find this funny, but my back and hip are totally jacked up right now, and it hurts to sit down. <laughs> She's like, oh, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I have to That's work. amazing. <laughs> yeah, so perfect. 20 years. 20 years. Worst ever. I'm proud of you, buddy. <laughs> and students have been getting, I think, worse, worse and worse over the years. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I, that's a that's a, that's I, a still give her, um, I still give her shivers i, I, I want to hear just... stories about you from her from her I, uh, things no, <laughs> no, that'd be nice <laughs> there's yeah. a woman in the superintendent's <laughs> office at newport news public schools when she met me for the second time in our lives as an adult here the last time she saw me i was in third grade she goes oh i know you i'm like do you? She's like, your brother's Charles Pennington. Oh. I'm like, he is. She's like, because of him, I have the career that I currently had because I could not deal with that Hellion and I just couldn't get it because he was a nice kid, but he did so much awful stuff. <laughs> She's like, because of him, I started studying kids with special needs because I wanted to understand oh. what ADHD really meant. And she's like, he was clearly misdiagnosed. And this is why I think that. And he will always be my favorite, least favorite student. That is also my favorite person. Yeah, yeah. I love that. And and we, yeah. we can move on in, in a second. But Alan, you might be able to confirm this. Even the teachers that clearly did not like me, they also liked me at the same time. I mean, Miss Redeska, yeah. as much as I drove her crazy, she laughed at pretty much all of my jokes. Well, like yeah. it was my goal to make her smile and break away from her <laughs> lesson plan and get her on a tangent. And I it, I did it every single time. Before you knew I mean, it, she, she was talking about what we wanted to talk about, and she gave up on she th th well, She threatened to uh, suspend me for giving the half-baked uh, eulogy in front of the class. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> right a eulogy. Killer was born to a bitch of a mother. <laughs> yeah. A three-legged bitch of a mother. <laughs> a three-legged bitch of a mother. <laughs> She's like... <laughs> Granted, this is her first year teaching, her first teaching assignment, and she got the smart kid class, and she thought it'd be easy. <laughs> nope, not at all. No. We 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 smelled weakness and just pounced. <laughs> yeah. like hey, Chris, you know what I'm talking about. This Ireland, <laughs> you, we, you don't Ireland. let your guard down at all. <laughs> <laughs> that was government blood in the water boys miss smith was my government teacher and she still to this day loves me and like we hang out on facebook and everything but she went out on maternity leave and brought in miss ireland who was a student at cnu in her last year doing her internship and they were desperate oh let's just say there was nothing higher than a two on that ap exam in that class we that all were right there was a, um, as a matter of fact, when Ms. Smith came back, she got all of our AP um, essays back, and there were multiple raps about Harry Potter, and there were multiple stories, and multiple I missed you's, and, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, so I think, I think, I mean, obviously, it takes a special person to be cut out for teaching, and uh, anyone who listens to us as a teacher, I have all the respect for you in the world, because you had Hillians like Eden and myself, I um, too. but at the same I time, in the in the day of, of a social media and internet, I don't know how people do it anymore. Um, like, cause we, we had to dig to find this information. We had a, a physics teacher, uh, his name is Mr. Benz. And his first name was Bill or William. And somehow we found out that he ran a radio station in college and his radio personnel name was barf bucket bill. <laughs> that would be like an easiest thing to find the internet out. Like you cannot go into teaching with that nickname. We had to do a lot and, uh, of research to get to that. We had to, <laughs> to get to that to find we, that. <laughs> and let to me tell you, that was, was he ever Mr. Benz after that? Nope. 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 <laughs> 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 
<laughs> like, do the voice, do the voice. <laughs> Took y'all two months to find it. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, before now readily you know where available. Your tramp stamp is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, anyways, back to the story. Um. So yeah, yeah lots of uh, uh, embracing and and kissing and yada yada yada. Um. Uh, and. Was there and, though? I didn't read that. Yeah, no, Egwene eventually kisses There's an Egwene that's liking it, and there's an Egwene that's like, oh no, but oh, she's liking no. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, no. Uh, follow no, up to what no, uh, no. Ian said earlier about Gawain seeing himself as not as attractive as he really was, um, saw Egwene as more beautiful. Well, mm-hmm. then only saw herself. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. But, Egwene. But, and then he would yeah. flicker, or flick, excuse me, between awesome clothes, handsome to black and grungy to average to this. That that was what I was talking about when it comes to that control. The fact that Mm -hmm. he switched outfits. He acknowledged, okay, you're an idiot. That doesn't sound right. Let's try this again. Try Now, if he was daydreaming, yeah. I mean, I daydream like that all the time. Right, but not in my yeah. actual dream. I never in my in a dream. I don't have many, but I've never had the awareness to change the dream. I could think, "Oh, this is a dream, and this is happening," but I was outside of the dream, watching it all happen. Yeah, that does show some some sort of controller power. I, I'd be yeah. curious if there's more to that. Yeah. Oh, did you notice with the flicks, it also mentions that like Egwene was like for a brief second, like it almost let go of her. Yeah. And then when he went right back back into it, she was pulled back in and almost even stronger the more it went on. So, I mean, that could even lend more to what you're saying about him having some sort of control or power. Mm -hmm. Man. Yeah. Until Indeed. we know more, I would say if you go into a dream that somebody else is dreaming and you're also in that dream, probably get out and get away. <laughs> oh, yeah, like sure. I'd be yeah. nervous about that interaction. Mm. Yeah. So at the, at the very end, yes, they do kiss. They finally, Egwene fully merges and they finally kiss. And then we switch point of views. So anything before of all this before we switch? I have been in other people's dreams. I have been in Chanel's dream. Hmm. Like with her, y'all were both there. Like just be together. I was sleep, and then there's a British voice going, and I would wake up, and I would be entertained because Chanel acts out all of her dreams. <laughs> <laughs> and I've also funny. been kicked in the nuts once or twice because <laughs> Chanel acts out all of her dreams. <laughs> Are you in a Bruce Lee movie, Chanel? Calm down. <laughs> Okay, so I, I, I don't dream often either, so I have to say I have to admit this too. So I had a dream that we got a dog, finally. And I'm petting this I'm petting the dog. Chris, the bar oh, was yeah. set a lot higher than that, buddy. <laughs> I have a dream. One day I'm getting a dog. Well, well, you know, that's cool and all, but the bar's up I'm, here. I'm petting I, the dog because the dog is laying up on me and nuzzling me. And then all of a sudden, I start getting kicked over and over and over. I'm petting uh, Chanel. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see how short she is. So imagine her like laying on my chest when well, my chest is way down here. Mom way up here. She, she's super close to places she don't need to be when she's kicking. Yeah, you, you don't pet you don't pet women without their consent. I've learned, oh, I learned that the hard way. That's hilarious. Yeah. I'm telling yeah. you. Anyway. Yeah, I I, I had an ex that used to actually get mad at me for what I did in her dreams. Yeah, because uh, you're an asshole. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I was an that. asshole or something. <laughs> yeah, and, and she'd get all pissed off. And I'm like, what are you mad about? Well, you did this. It's like, no, I didn't. She's like, I dreamed it. And I was like, that doesn't count. <laughs> like, yeah. so it does. I back out of those conversations real quick. It, and it has not happened in current relationship, but. No, I don't in current, my current yeah. marriage. I, no. Um, I also had another I just go, thought. I'll let you work that out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had a thought that maybe. Egwene was being taught a lesson. Oh, because maybe some watching her. Maybe some of the, uh, yeah, she was two thoughts on that. Either a lesson or she was purposely trapped. So the first was she was being taught a lesson by one of the dream walkers. It's a hell of a lesson. It is. But They've given hey, hell of a lesson before. Go, go do the deed with the dude you like. Shame. Well, 
it's you're caught in here now. What are you going to do to get out? Mm-hmm. And then the second one was maybe a forsaken pushed that dream on her and then caught her in that dream. And with every flick, she lost a little bit of herself until she was stuck in that dream, which is my next question. Is she stuck? I mean, it's like she, I, I just ha- actually checked out the last line, uh, said happily twined her arms around his neck. So it's like she just fell asleep. There yeah. Yeah. So we'll, I mean, Rafa. Yeah. It's and probably going to be some next? wise one to come we'll save see. her and then teach her a real lesson. Like, what are you doing in there? Mm-mm. Or they try to wake yeah. her up in the real world and like she's not waking up. So they go in to help her. And... Yeah. Something's mm-hmm. not to happen. Yeah. Well, wait, what happens when, so Gawain is sleeping naturally. So when he wakes up, the dream's over, right? Right. But then she she trapped. would think so. Yeah. Yeah. If that's Gawain's dream, if the track you're on. Oh yeah. I mean, if it's like, he's saying for, if the forsaken are in play, like. Also, she could Mm -hmm. just, you know, wake up in Kyrian or wherever the fuck she's at. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's not going to happen. (laughs) <laughs> so you got you guys ready to switch what if she you wakes up in Kyrie and like walks to the bathroom a little bow legged like, <laughs> what happens, in the, dream? What happens in the real world <laughs> <laughs> oh maybe she's gonna be like mary so uh, this, this, has been a, this has been a long oh. conversation in the in in the the fandom yeah. can you get pregnant if girls can get pregnant yeah in my dreams you, got, you have a lot of kids. My child support is about to go up by a few dollars. I'm going to need another job. J-Lo and I have children. <laughs> <laughs> so does Alicia. Uh, Miss Keys. Janet Jackson. Yeah, Janet. At one time, accidentally Michael, but I... That wasn't so we don't talk about that. We don't, we don't, we don't talk about that. Uh, anyway, yeah. so switch point of views to Nynaeve. Uh, Nynaeve's sitting on a stool and all of a sudden she hears in the distance, I'm feeling good. Bum, 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 bum. And Michael Buble just busts the door and <laughs> yeah, she gets up <laughs> and then gets molly whopped in the back of the head. By uh-huh. the I get knocked kids. down, no. but I get up again because you're never going to keep me down. I get knocked down. But that's how you that that really is. So I That needs to be the song to during this scene and people just getting swapped. Yeah, <laughs> I was listening to this. So when I tell you, I was so like confused. I was like, "Did she just get up and then get hit by her own stool?" Yeah, like, she did. what in the world? Like she got <laughs> mollywop by her own stool. Like I, in my mind, I was like, "What is going on?" So then I felt like I was the character. I felt like I was her. Like I'm sure she got hit. It was like, confusion. "What just happened?" Smack confusion. Well, not only that, but she's tired as shit. Like yeah, they do yeah. their little yeah. jaunts. She's been staying awake, yeah. For all the dreams, but she's she was told to stay up all night. Yeah, for a minute. So I thought, you gotta break your block while you're tired as fuck. For a minute, I thought Elaine had just decided to go off. <laughs> she's like, I know it's horrible. I thought Elaine woke up and was like, you know what? I'm so over this. <laughs> or and then I was like, maybe Mogadine returned and she didn't notice it. And then Mogadine, I, back to I did think Mogadine for a second. Yeah, that was my first had, thought. In that moment, those thoughts enter my mind. I just bust out laughing while driving, which is probably not the smartest thing for somebody like me who laughs fully with his whole body. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, she walks outside to utter chaos. I mean, there are inanimate ob- objects like fighting everyone. So when people die. I mean, they're hung by bed sheets, frying pans, knock people over the head. And, like it's it's. It's like utter chaos outside. Um, and the, yeah. I said I were trying to link uh, to so fight if you, them all. if you saw this, like, how do you not... Oh, this sounds horrible. How do you not laugh a little bit? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I would. Be it, it would be kind of cartoony. Ah, guest be yes. our guest. <laughs> like, yeah, I'd be singing so that shit. I'd grab the Bristol <laughs> chandelier and be like, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> now, so I was telling Alan in pre-show before you guys jumped in, but one of my favorite parts of these chapters was random I said I number four. Be like, Link, we've prepared for this. We knew Sameo would attack at some point. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, it's just bubbles. 
<laughs> that was a little gas. Yes. I'm sorry. It's just my cup of It's just my cup of blay. It's just my cup of blay. napkin around your neck, on a, Sherry. Forsaken's radar. And we point. will prove the rest. That she's Which I said I thought this like, was a Forsaken attack. Yeah. And I guess Nynaeve gets to that point later on, like, did they, they think this was what the Forsaken would do? Like, if the Forsaken, it would be nothing like this. Half us would be dead no. if we yeah. got caught off guard by the Forsaken. It's... It would just be finger blasting or something. It was yeah. Right. Anaya. Yeah. Belfar, Belfar. Boom, boom. Wasn't boom. Anaya? <laughs> Anaya was the one that came out like, oh my God, we're being attacked. Pew, pew, pew. Same time. How do I Why we only live to serve? <laughs> Try the good uh, stuff. It's delicious. Don't believe me. Ask mm-hmm. the dishes. <laughs> they can sing. They can dance. The sheet can wrap you around your neck. <laughs> <laughs> Help, help. Like, how crazy would it be to be asleep and then all of a sudden your sheet starts strangling you? I have had that happen before. I'm not gonna lie, it freaks you out just a little bit. I get so my sheet stolen from me all the time, so they do kind of go <laughs> swoop in the middle of the night. But sorry about that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so in in the kids' tent, I also had a kids' blanket, and it didn't fit over both of us. So it was all night long, just. Mm. <laughs> mm. Hey. That's when yeah. you just get real close. Oh, we did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so Chris, dead dude on the ground, Nynaeve freaking out a little bit. Did you did you have any? I had a little glimmer of hope that when they started linking, Nynaeve would take advantage and try and heal this massive wound, or maybe even attempt to bring back to life. This obviously didn't happen to those of y'all that are just listening to us and not reading. But for a split second, I was like, oh, does Nynaeve take advantage of this linking? Does she so do I awesome thought here? about it in a different way. So when she saw the dead dude, instantly her feelings went towards healing, which unlocked mm-hmm. her, right? And then she was able to see all the women's hues, all of their glows. I yeah. thought maybe she would see, looking at somebody like Swan the disconnect in the glow and go, oh, shit, I can heal her now. I know it was really far-fetched, but in my mind, it's like, why would you emphasize the fact that she could now see the glows around the women? Right, not that far-fetched. that going to be important later. Remember the other girl that is still kind of learning, and when they link, like, magically, oh. she's speaking in tongues, and we're like, okay. So oh, yeah, prophesying. So her power, that I mean, that's power she's clearly had, but just Nicola. it needed to be enhanced in order for mm-hmm. it to come out. So maybe that's what Nynaeve needs to be able to, yeah, to be able to and, yeah. and fix uh, Swan or maybe even Lavina well, she could point, see but, without the linking. So I, yeah. I think there's going to be more to that part. Like everything else is important: the linking, yeah. the 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 unlocking, then the linking. Then realizing that it wasn't just her power, but herself that flowed out. I think that she's going to find that in linking with Swan and Leanne, she'll be able to fix them. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. So, I mean, like our, our train of thought was going differently there, but I I was looking for an aha moment and we didn't quite get it. But there's still down the road, there could be stuff Nynaeve learned from this this linking moment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How how can Nynaeve link with Swan and Leanne when they can't touch the power? They can though. Well yeah. Yeah, they uh, do. Jake, if you no, didn't they know, they do. underpants plus question mark equals profits. Oh fucking duh. Yeah. So they're um, able no, question mark in the equation. I think- they're able to link with um, like Mogadine and feel the power through her. So I think, like, we just need that conduit. I think Mogadine plus there's something. The, there's something there. It's not there's, nothing. Yeah, there's something there's, there. Leanna got excited and she kept trying. I think the combination of the um, the bracelet, the choker, Mogadine being the conduit, and they're gonna find a way to she. Nynaeve is going to find a way to kind of tap into that and heal them. So I'm just trying to figure out why you think that 
Leanne and Swan can link with Nynaeve. Not with Nynaeve. With, so remember with Mogadine, they they tried trying on the bracelets, and there was something mm-hmm. there where she was like, she couldn't control her per se, but she was able to sense Yes, they Mogadine could or sense something. The they could sense the source through Mogadine. Yeah, something like that. I don't remember exactly what it was, but there was something significant about Swan putting on the bracelet. Gotcha. They could, I they could that sense Mogadine the and they could... The yeah, they could sense. I thought we were talking about them linking to try to take out the forsaken, the bubble of evil. Well, we, I am. I'm thinking conceptually. Oh, now. We, yeah, if, we we jumped to yeah. try to figure out. The, you lost me. <laughs> fix, fixing the swan thing. My, and, where's my where's my floaties? <laughs> and, yeah. Oh yeah, you're you're up there like, sinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I uh, completely changed gears. So no, so really, no. what what he's saying is we need about six or seven female Aes Sedai. Uh, a lot of ropes, choker collars, yeah. uh, chains and whips. Yeah. And Ny- Nynaeve might be able to figure this out. Have you been yeah. invading my dreams? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. Yeah, and, and they struggle to get Nynaeve to, to link as well. That's nothing they say. Yeah. So, I, I eventually forces it. And then Elaine comes out and she has the, the bracelet with her and Nynaeve's like, I think it says she breaks in cold sweat. Like, what would happen if she's wearing well, links she to Mogadin when she joins us? Yeah, she she does, but that. yeah, but Nadine gets scared for a second. Like, will they be able to tell something if she links while being linked? Like, do you think yeah. that they would? Well, yes. yeah. yeah. this is where I'm going with that. Like, I believe that that mm-hmm. her Sangre Altangre, whatever it is, that link with will help them to break. Or reconnect whatever it is that's separated with the yeah. Yeah. So you're so yeah. so you're thinking that if they put the bracelet on Swan uh-huh. and then Nynaeve tries to link with Swan using She'll be able to force her way it'll, through it'll like, like jump start the battery. Yes. Boom. <laughs> jump start. Nailed it. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. And now I'm now I'm picking up what you're putting down. I dig it. Interesting. Read and find out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. thinking to that extent that Mogadine probably could do it already if she wanted to. Hmm. She's powerful enough. I think she could do it okay. if she wanted to, and she's choosing not to. Okay. Or she didn't have all well, the Well, the person wearing that... the bracelet would still have to allow her to do it. Yes, yeah. correct. That's true. So Swan, I, mm-hmm. I'm guessing if she's wearing the bracelet, would have to have some sort of knowledge of how it's done and control. But that's where the linking on the other side... Uh huh. It can flow. I, I see we're getting at the jumpstart analogy. Jake was on point, and Chris, that's beautiful. Hmm. I think that sounds very good. We'll see. Okay. This is how you do it. Um, <laughs> this is how you do it. Um, but yeah, and then also we get a young novice, uh, Nicola, that joins in, and all of a sudden it has a foretelling, like just like kind of like out of sleep. Ever been Random. to an Assemblies of God revival? Because I have. <laughs> it's kind of what this one felt like. <clears throat> Although usually nah, there's somebody there to like interpret. Like that's that's yeah. that's how you know that it's accurate, not just somebody going crazy. Did, did, I, did I ever tell you about the story with tongues? Like, so. Um, <laughs> Should we be saying did, this around the kids? <laughs> <laughs> so the, so the, the church my, my wife grew up in, um, they sometimes do the whole tongues thing. And um, the church I grew up in was not like that at all. And the first time we went to church with her parents, we're sitting there in the pews and all of a sudden her mom starts like babbling random stuff. And like, I look over and I'm like, do we need to call an ambulance? Like, is she having a stroke? I'm like, what's Alan's what's going, going through the new for having a stroke. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm, like, oh, I'm like, uh, we need to call someone. And like, so no, she's just speaking tongues. I was like, Oh, that's real. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it's, it's very real. Do this stuff? Like, okay. Yeah. Um, the lion. Yeah. So let's say the, you know, the, the, the lion sword, the lion, the dedicated, Elaine, the dedicated spear, spear. um, What's her name? Our oh damn! Let's see. Uh, the, the, the lion. Avienda, thank Lions you. Or the dedicated spear and she who sees, sees, sees beyond men. Three mm-hmm. on the boat, and he who is dead yet lives. So that's Luce Theron. Mm-hmm. The great okay. battle done, but the world not done with 
battle. That part right there, I guess, is... Mm -hmm. uh Uh-huh. I was going to say, just that portion, the great battle done, but the world not done with battle. um, I think that's, you know, alluding to the fact that though they're going to fight and win the battle, something here is the world itself is torn apart. Because then it Mm -hmm. says the land divided by the return. That part kind of confused me a little bit. Return of who? Luce Theron. The well, what's the, the return heroes. called? Think about that. The return. The return of the Dark One. No, you're you're what? on the right track there. This is this already been talked about. The return uh, of the so uh, this was I actually listened to this today and I had to get the hard copy out because I wanted to see if the return was capitalized or not. It's it not. Is not. So, hmm. so I'm 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 thinking probably the same thing you are, Alan. The Hylene. Yeah. Um, but also maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. And the guardians balance the servants. That part kind of threw me a little bit. Cheater. So those last two sentences kind of threw me a little bit. Okay. Wait, the the land divided by the turn, the return, that's not the Aiel? Could oh, be. Yeah. Okay. Could be the like Aiel. Could, could, could and be the, the guardians. Shotgun? And the guardians balance the, balance the servants, so the Aiel balance everybody else. Is that what we're thinking? Well, the guardians we have. I mean, if we're thinking Aiel, there's the maidens that are guarding Rand, and but I mean to Rand the, to the them, servants Rand are like the guy Sheen that are now wearing these headbands. So well, I was thinking real- along the lines of like Rand is not a king to them. Little old tongue lesson for you. I said I literally I like translates tongue. to servants of all. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. And we and we've heard that. Oh, the guardians. Maybe these are the male channelers. Balancing the female. Yeah. Oh, me there like There you it. go. The future the teeters man. on the edge of a blade. Well, we know Kalendor is still. Mm. Or maybe a heron mark something or another. Or that could be metaphorical. Well, that, and Rand is always talking about how you're going to fight when they take the power from you. He's still going to be able to fight. He still focuses on the sword. Yeah. And maybe Rand is the blade. And the world teeters on Rand's sword. Except hmm. Gawain totally cut his head off. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> In my news sure. world, at least, that happened. Yep. Because, <laughs> you know, she's stuck there. Okay. Anyway. Like when I when I heard that and then came back and read it, I was like, "Oh, this is awesome." Where are they going on a boat, though? On a boat. <laughs> on a boat. <laughs> Why are they on a boat? Maybe they got to go fight some other every, people. Every time they come to port, they produce a court. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so they got their flippy so, floppies. They got their flippy floppies. What? Uh, flippy floppies. <laughs> um. And yeah, so then the fight pretty much is over after they all link and they fight back. Um, and they start to heal people. Um, not even sent to bed. But okay, here's another frustrating moment. And I know you can go, ha ha, wheel of time, bad communication, huh? But Nynaeve starts to tell Anaya, be like, hey, um, real quick, Elaine and I found something tonight. And Anaya's like, hush, child, we'll discuss this tomorrow. So. At first, I'm like, okay, after everything Nynaeve and Elaine's been telling them, and it's all been this wondrous shit, like just awesome stuff, advancing them like crazy. Yeah. And she's just like, not now. It, like, are, are the Aes Sedai really that full of themselves? I mean, I think they truly think that a Forsaken just attacked them. Let me say this, because I'm on that but shouldn't same they trip. also listen to Nynaeve when yes. she's yes. like, not a Forsaken? Yes. Like, no. This ain't even close. No. Yes and no. Nani should have been talking this this soon. She needs to talk they to already people. know that it's not a forsaken, but they need a win. They need the people mm-hmm. to feel confident in the decisions that they are making. Yeah, you know, like a just a show of force. They need a show of force. They need to show that they have the power together to win. Yeah, things kind of suck. We need a dub right now. And they got that exactly. And so this is buying them more time because you know we can hold our own. 
this is the oh. train of thought that's going on right now. If you, and if you want power, you have to make the people think that they're in danger, but that you can save them. Exactly. If they think they're in danger and it's totally random ass shit, you don't have the power anymore. And then you have two people mm -hmm. who know more about what's going on in the world who are directly connected to the Dragon Reborn saying, no, if you're afraid of this, then you got a lot more to deal with because this is a blip on the radar. This is a bird, yeah. not a plane. Like, yeah. they have Superman. to shut them up. Oh. And then on top of that, the other thing we realized, yeah, you're going to shoo off Nynaeve because she's finally broke her, you know, broken into her power. So the silly girl they've been waiting on, now now they got something to work with. Do you think she broke her block already? Yes. Well, I, I, I don't feel that she yeah. was angry when she linked. <laughs> they even I said she was forced into link, though. Well, she was forced into the link because she didn't want to link. But she well, they tried and it, it didn't work at first and they pushed into. Yeah. No, all right. So she broke her block for sure. No, because whenever she was her trying to take the, the off the woman's throat and mm -hmm. uh, she's like, I'm in her mind, I'm surrendering, burn you, I am surrendering, I need the power, nothing. The bed shimmed against her knees and Satina squeaked. Don't just stand there. Not even snapped. Help me. Like exclamation, exclamation. I think she's fucking pissed. Yeah, that's true. She could have been. That could have been growing. Yeah. Nani glowered at the robe in her hands. Uh, yeah. Without the power, she was just useless. Hmm. I think by the, by the time she went out to help them kind of do whatever, she was angry and could sense the power. You can grab it at will at that well, point. I mean, I've seen those are good examples, and I, I don't have anything from the writing that so specifically... who says it that said, so you found Sidar tonight, and I need mm -hmm. good. I think that's what I read and assumed that that meant she had broken her block. Gotcha. Well, read and find out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I definitely I got the vibe that we were heading in that direction. Because it says Nynaeve jumped and stared at Anaya. She did hold Sidar, she realized. And useless even with it, and useless even with it rising, she could wearily dust her knees and try not to look at the dead man. If she had been quicker, she could have made a difference. That's what broke her block, was other people's needs. She has been feeling useless this whole time. That's Well, that's been her kind of her that's trigger her block. anyway. That's, that, that's been her trigger to, to channel in the past yeah as but other people's need of her. big questions did not need surrender to the power or she just get angry and channel which is what she can always flash do. with the linking like you said she was kind of forced slash yeah. pulled into it either way the block's broken i think we're close we're much closer <laughs> i'm feeling Block's good about broken. it <laughs> okay raffo <laughs> block cool. is broken block's broken yeah. <laughs> all right Closes book. Yep. <laughs> that, look, I, I'm done. This chapter is over with five minutes ago. Lock, it, it is broken. The seal is broken. Now, here's the thing. Though she's broken her block, I don't, she still doesn't know how to use the power. She can see the flows. She can see it in and out of people. She can feel it. But everything she's done has been out of anger. But she's and still she's learning like, how to use it. She just has to be angry to con to be able to use it. And so she's not going to know how to use it through this access point. Gotcha. So she's still got a lot of learning yeah. to do. Yeah, she yeah. still knows the weaves of I things. Know. Yeah. Like it's, still, it's still doing the same stuff. But is she still going to yeah. have the same agitations because she's broken it, but she still has to learn how to control it. Oh, I mean, if you think Nani's not going to stay mad for 90% of the time she's on page... I'll spoil it for you. You got something else coming to you. I mean, there's always the possibility that she goes like Hulk on us and finally learns how to control her powers. And they're like, oh, Nynaeve, I, just, I thought you could only use your powers when you're angry. She's like, that's my secret. I'm oh, always, that's angry. always it. Grace. That's what I thought was going to happen, to be honest with you. Yeah. I was waiting for that moment. I'm just pissed at this whole situation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, uh, and that's somebody what had to die to bring it out of her, though. Yeah, yeah, and 
I mean, that kind of goes hand in hand with the first time she channeled in her life when Egwene about almost died. Sure. Yeah. That was, that was a moment of desperation there. Yep. Mm hmm. And we end the chapter with Nadia being going to sleep and being like, uh, well, I said I told me to, so yeah. I don't have to listen to Theodore and stay awake anymore. <laughs> yeah. uh, probably, take a nappy nap. Probably I'm not going to do much, uh, much practice tomorrow anyways. There's a lot of tidying up mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Bullshit. She's the one they've been waiting on now that she's unlocked it. Full steam ahead. Okay. They're going to train their new Amberlynn. I think they're okay. still after mm -hmm. Egwene. Okay. Like Wayne's yeah. beyond them. Oh, She's yeah. with Galad. Or Gal no. Gal Sorry, Gawain. My wrong. Like chief. Galad's a white cloak. I mean, <laughs> yeah, wrong, if you're wrong hang, hanging out with the, with the IO wise ones, learning how to be a wise and learning how to dream walk, and also still learning like you know the one power or going to the ice. Mm. We are getting in a, going to the ice side, getting a rod shoved in your hand. I'd go hang out with the desert ninjas. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Come back full samurai. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. And that's what we end this chapter with. Not even taking nappy naps. Um, <laughs> so uh, anything we missed? God, anything probably, we, want to talk we about? were all over uh, the place. We got, we got two hours out of those two chapters. I'm impressed. Yeah. Yeah. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> you guys always impress me. We jumped around a bit. These, I, so when, as I read them, these weren't dull to me at all. These were a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. There we yeah. Go. I feel like so there's so many different he, things we could have talked yeah, about. Parent but, was even mentioned. Parent's my favorite character. Yeah. He's so excited okay. about that. <laughs> parent's your favorite character. I was going to ask you what his favorite character was, but I guess Parent's Chris's favorite character. Always Parent. Oh. <clears throat> Favorite character. I really need to think about this ahead of time. <laughs> well, why do you think? I will say I'm going to have to give it to um, Elaine for okay. her cool, calm, and collected self in the face of danger. Okay. She was a true Gryffindor. Okay. <laughs> Ten points to Gryffindor. Ten points to Gryffindor. Yeah, I... In the same vein, I want to go naive, and it was specifically for when that red was in the room, clearly for fishing and for for, uh, for information. And naive didn't give anything away, and kind of kept her cool because that, that was probably the biggest. That she is. She did a phenomenal job. All right, I was it. most nervous at that point, and then most relieved when the scene ended. I was like, okay, she didn't give anything away. So I, you know, I got to give her credit for that. You know, I mean, I I I would have to get for my favorite character. Um, would have to go with. Uh, I, I was a little timid about the performance, but Michael Bublé just came through and yeah, uh, yeah. It it was just, just stole the show. Uh, the notes show. he was hitting, that stool uh, fling mm, was yeah, it was money. Just, just showmanship, just showmanship. Yeah, I mean, here, here, showmanship. <laughs> I mean, so good it had Chris and I laughing and singing "Beauty and the Beast." And no one's gloomy or complaining while the flatware is entertaining. We tell jokes, I do tricks with my fellow candlesticks. <laughs> bravo, bravo. Be our guest, be our guest. Be our Put guest. our bubbles to the test. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah. How ironic uh, is it though that it popped up in Solid R? Mm. Is that irony at all? Do you think it's random or do you think this is actually no, a target? I think it was a targeted attack. I need to see a map I, where we can plot these out and see what else is going on in these areas but this are reds in those areas this hit that. center stage this felt I think shit's happening everywhere we just see it mm -hmm. right. i think that everywhere there are reds there are bubbles yeah do you think there's places that it happens more often than others like do you think it's like lightning where it can't strike the same place twice or do you think there might be places where it's happening like all the time Ooh. or like oh ian you're at home go get your your buddy which one Razzletaz? No. 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 Oh. He's had a long day. He's sleeping right now. <laughs> but that's he knows a good, the that's word. That's a good point. He knows that's the word. Knows, he knows the word about, about why the bubbles are happening. <laughs> Hold on. Give me, give me a second. <laughs> Loyal. What, what? Loyal. I'm sleeping. Loyal. They got a question about. Well, they already know the answer. They just, just tell them. They want to hear it. Oh. <sighs> 
to be in. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks. All right. No, go back to sleep. But hold on. I got to tuck him in real quick. Hold on. <laughs> I know he's he's good. He's good. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for that, buddy. Here's a question. Yeah. He gets a little cranky. Are there discs in that town? Hmm. And uh, Saldar, did anybody bring a disc? Yeah, could, did they bring a disc? Didn't they bring a disc? Remix. Wiki, wiki, I need wiki. to like go back and read. It's a good question. I don't know if there's a disc there or not. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if there is. Wait, but I yeah, remember. Nynaeve had one and it was crumbly. So maybe she, wherever she, she handed off because she she's gave like, it to Omi to, to drop yeah. the pollution, right? So maybe wherever there's a crumbly disc, you have more bubbles. No, okay. they didn't drop the disc in the ocean. They dropped the the male. The I male. Know. That's right. Yeah, the disc was going to go back to Tarvalin, but it yeah, never made it. Yeah. So ooh. Yeah, so, 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 they do have a disc. Huh. Maybe okay. interesting. Maybe, yeah. hmm. And it's a crumbly one. Yeah, mm. maybe anywhere there's some crumblies, there's a weakness in the. The jail, and every time he passes gas, it just there's a there's a broken seal. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you blew a seal. That's yeah, just ice cream. Uh, just ice cream. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, next week on the Will Reads, so we're doing two chapters again. Uh, we're gonna do a pile of sand. Anakin, I hate sand. And <laughs> tellings of the wheel. Isn't that what all these books are, really? Tellings yeah. of the Wheel. There are always good chapters when there's Tellings of the Wheel. That's always a good okay. chapter. I think the first you Tellings of the that. Wheel was the was the the, the Menethrin, Menethrin speech. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's happened a couple of times. Uh, we've That's had great. tons of them. But they're they're good chapters. So Maybe Tellings of the Wheel. Information in regards That's a set to the wheel. Mm. Yeah, I hope maybe we dig into some new prophecy from another perspective. That'd be great. The IEL, that would make sense. Okay. Uh, inner Sandman. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe there's a big oh, reveal. Maybe. Yeah. Well, there's an answer to one of tonight's questions in a pile of sand chapter. Okay. Egwene does get pregnant from dream, dream sex. We just lost um, five listeners. <laughs> <laughs> there was there was no seal when there was that huge bubble and tear. Was there yeah. no seal in tear at the time? I don't know. Uh, I guess not. Well, it's just a theory. When did they yeah. find the first one? I don't fucking remember. Uh, at the Eye of the World? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, two years ago. Yeah. yeah. Where did it go from there? Ago. Well, Chris uh, got engaged. Alan? I found <laughs> a pretty swell significant other. Yeah. Alan had another kid. I know. Yeah. Alan had another kid. When, your, when you uh, met your beard's you, a little when bit you, Alan, you only had one, right? No, my, my daughter was born two months before I started the podcast. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Did you conceive mm -hmm. these babies in your dreams or is this real life conception? I don't know how my kids were conceived. They just showed up one day. Story. <laughs> Interesting. Just, just, yeah, I, don't, just, I don't know. Came home from work and there was another mouth to feed. They don't come in Yeah. 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 There are no this, seals where they had a. A huge bubble. I've been kissed by a rose on oh, different, different seal. Different seal. seal. Different yeah. It's still a broken seal, but oh. you get it. Uh, <laughs> that's one of my favorite songs. All right. Yeah. yeah. So, thoughts, yeah, Paula Sand. We got some Anakin, and then we got Tons of the Wheel, which is going to be fun. So, yeah. that's my what we got. Power, my pleasure, my pain. <laughs> and karaoke has begun all right um so anyway anyone who's listening live if you're on our discord uh feel free to come join it i will be hanging out there a little bit afterwards just because i do uh i'm gonna start doing that after shows because yeah uh it's something we used to do i think um it's a good thing to keep it going um if you haven't joined discord you can find links to it on our website the um Otherwise, uh, if you're listening to this, uh, you can also find links to it there. So, yeah, how you can be found. Yeah, thewillers.com. That's the best way to actually go find us because you can get links to all our social media, um, links to the Discord, uh, links to uh, ways to support us like our merchandise, um, uh, which we have like new T-shirts designed. Someone just won the semester shirt. So um, I get I, as I was doing the podcast, I got emailed from 
um, our our merch creator with the printed shirt. So I just got to see it. Plant Supreme. A Plant mm-hmm. Supreme shirt. Semestia. Um, shirt. Uh, and support us with Patreon. Uh, that's the great way to support us. Um, you know, the $10 tier and up, which is the third tier, um, we are going to start doing some live reactions on YouTube for that tier and up. Um, yeah, as as uh, uh, Ian put it, he wants only good chapters, but I'm a dark friend, so no. Um, <laughs> next, there's next, a chance next, you're going to watch me go, this is boring. Hurry yeah, up. next next week would actually be a fun stick. week to do, do one. So, so maybe Thursday we'll do a live reaction. Maybe. maybe. I don't know if you guys have plans mm. Thursday. Um, you guys have plans Thursday night? I do. Okay. You have plans tomorrow night? <laughs> I can't tomorrow, but Thursday for me uh, is no, 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 no. Chris is no. Chris is no. And then he's gone for the weekend. Bachelor party. Yeah. Oh I, I like, I don't know what time I'm going to get back Thursday. So, I mean, we can do it late. Yeah. We're <laughs> supposed to do dinner with her sister around six thirty seven. So, I mean, if we did like a nine 30, all right, nine 30 Thursday night yeah. for patrons, $10. And up. I'm going to be call in it, bed. React. Call, call it 10 just to be safe. Yeah. Let's do that. Call it 10. <laughs> let's do 10 o'clock at night. It's just ready to chapter. It's ready to chapter. It's ready to chapter. Yeah. All right. All okay. Right. I'm, I'm excited. Sounds good. So Thursday, if you're if you're that level of patron or higher, you get to watch us live react. Can too. I ask with the live react? Like, are we allowed to pause, or do you do we just have yeah, to keep power? We, we, we can we can pause and because I know Chris and I are both on there. There's I'm gonna, gonna be a hold up, hold up, stop that shit. What I'm are we listening to? to? The next two chapters. Oh, we're gonna do both chapters. Okay. Yeah, both of them. Yeah, I don't know how long they are, but I should probably look it okay. up first. Yeah, <laughs> just, just just a small break, <laughs> Alan. Work and children, yeah. sir. What'd you say? You got what? Work and children. You have work and children. I can put this on my phone and sit there in the bed and just Chanel. It's this, it's, it's oh no, I would, I would play it live. Uh, yeah. So yeah. one's a. It's a. It's a. It's good. Two fifty-seven to two eighty-one. Yeah. No, Actually, so 40, Forty-eight minutes for the first one. Forty minutes uh, for the second one. Yeah. Oh, oh right. those are, those are short compared to what we've done in the past. Yeah. An hour yeah. and a half between the two. That's not bad. Fun. It'll be fine. Yeah. Um, It'll yeah. put me to sleep. <clears throat> and plus, uh, you probably, probably listen to it at a little bit faster speed, don't you guys? I put it at 1.5. Well, I mean, for the live, we probably won't listen to half. I do 2.0 every now and then, too. I was listening at like one point, like one and a quarter or something today, uh, catching up on these chapters. And when they got to the flicker scene, the uh, it really threw me for a loop. Because I was like, wait, what? I just listened, huh? Flick, 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 flick. The flick, first flick, time flick. the flick happened, yeah, I was right there yeah. with you. I was right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. we'll listen to the chapters Thursday night at some point. Um, and yep. uh, sweet. So don't read them tomorrow or tonight. I will. Just get to wait until Thursday. Yeah. Yes, so, I do. Anyways, <laughs> um, that's all I got for this week. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we go, this weekend. Hello. Sorry. Watch of Fortune. Yes, yes. We are back again with Watt of Fortune. I should have said this in the beginning. I don't know why I didn't mention this. Yeah, this weekend, Watt of Fortune is going on Saturday night. Join us live 9.30? 9? Yeah. I don't even know what time I have to schedule it. Um, I think it's 9, 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock on the dot. That's what it is. Uh, 9 o'clock Thursday night. Or, yeah. On Saturday night, uh, we're having the threefold talk girls. Um, so, so all much four fun. of them, all, all the four of them from Threefold Talk, come on to do Wheel of Fortune. So, uh, well, Wheel of Fortune with Wheel of Time themes. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. So, come join us Saturday night. That's open to all. It's going to be a ton of Still fun. Still haven't so. decided if I'm going to do all AL theme or no AL theme. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we just screw with them. Um, with yeah. Them. <laughs> we'll see. Um, At least anyway. one of them can jump into people's dreams and find answers. So, yeah, yeah. there you go. There's that. Yeah, why is one Shelly? Um, so, yeah. So, until next time. Or- <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, bye. Uh, peace. <laughs> go- okay, Ian. Yeah. Wrap us up for real. <laughs> Until okay. next time. Peace. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs> yeah, that was too too weird.